Um, I was going to say hello Twitch, but then I saw the map. Uh, is, there a reason why, <laughs> is there a reason why you opened the church map or do you still have to change the maps? Oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Hello Twitch. Welcome back to the highlight of this week, Dungeons and Dragons. We are still readying up. Why do I hear Discord notifications? I have streamer mode on. Was it someone else's Discord? Did you just move myself? Maybe. Ah, uh, okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think I was. When we are lo if we are looking from the beginning of uh, our disbanding, uh, I think I was basically somewhere around the door before we switched maps. Okay. I mean, I I, I think that would be logical because everyone was just leaving right now, and I was, I guess, left alone. Anyway. Because someone didn't want to follow. <laughs> because everyone wanted to leave suddenly and follow some uh, well, suspicious children. See, there, was a, there was a mystery to solve, so... Uh, yes, it's uh, people that protection. Why did you think everyone wanted us to go? Okay, yeah, I mean, you okay. see a couple of kids? I think in the future, when we encounter a mystery and someone who needs protection, I guess... 90% of the party yeah, will go yeah, after the yeah, mystery. Yeah. Oh, hi, yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Rory. <laughs> I hope your geek was also fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, speaking and... of trouble. <laughs> My girlfriend's here. You keep your mouth shut. Oh, hi, Seven. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you very much. As you say, I didn't see Valus come in, but yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I don't see no Val, I don't see no sorcerer. <laughs> I'm still flabbergasted yeah. from his uh, performance last stream. <laughs> You know, I'm so upset about that, though, because like <laughs> you were there. <laughs> yeah, and, no one saw it. Me, and, kind of me and him, to be honest, because we also have proficiency in. You only heard yeah, well, it. I, well, no, no, no. I was there. I saw him at the piano, like sitting down. You yeah. Know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm like, and I'm like, well, not much I can do here. And I walked away. Then I like went to bed at night. And, and like, then, as soon as I put my head down, I'm like, wait a minute, I have a song horn. <laughs> I have musical capabilities. And he's, fuck, fuck I, we could have made that a duo. Yeah, you could have. And then, literally the moment you left, that was the second where he could have killed himself. Oh, yeah. If he mm -hmm. fucked up the performance check, they were going to turn on him. Yes. Most likely. <laughs> and I'm surprised it was a feature. It, it, it would have been like, Oh, good. It, it would have been like Tom and Jerry where you hear like Tom behind the door and the door's rattling and he's screaming. Uh -huh. That was total improvisation that I put in from earlier. That was good though. That was, that yeah, was I, I wasn't sure if that was actually a, a little secret script at all, if that was literally just brain genius. Just That's how you know. For the moment. Mm hmm. DMs are very good. If you have a good DM, they're very good at uh, I know last minute additions. Mm -hmm. Not sucking up, but just something I noticed after being a part of a couple of campaigns now. Yep. Got to have some spontaneousness. Mm -hmm. You got to lean into the players a little bit. You know what I mean? I mean, um, I must say he literally is the best DM I ever had. <laughs> Why do I hear Discord notifications? Deal. What's up, Steve? I was uh, especially considering the players tend the ones that derail any DM plans. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I've been, uh, there was a session I was a part of where uh, the DM was just pretty much like, all oh, like, nah, fuck that. I'm not dealing with that. It just put you back on a rail. And it's like, really? <laughs> well, I guess we're along for the fucking Fantasyland tour guide in goddamn Disney World. Woo! Yeah. It's hey, a World of Warcraft theme park the... ride. Oh, <laughs> the only other DM that I had was the one that actually pulled us. Me, Saren, and Z. Yeah, oh, he was actually, very good. Me, more me and Saren because he's already played D&D, but... Mm -hmm. And that would be painless. Yeah, and he was... He's a very good DM, too. So once yeah. once I was a part of that campaign, I'm like, okay, I'm hooked on D&D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and sadly, our characters are in hiatus forever. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I remember the, this group that I was teaching D and D. You know, they kept trying to come up with ways. Oh, we're going to talk. Case. We're going to trip them up this way. <laughs> nope, it didn't work. Because, <laughs> like I said, the major role of the DM is to let the players tell their story. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if it doesn't match what the, you have, if in a campaign like this, it completely goes the off the rails and yeah, the DM will have to pull the plug on it, but. The only big, uh, I would say, re-railer I have is the fog. If yeah. for any reason I need you guys in one place, and this is probably spoilery, if I ever need you in one spot, that fog is going to come in close and restrict you. But it that makes sense. The only times. Mm. Oh. But that makes sense, though. You know what I mean? And it's not bitchy. You know, no. it's like, okay, like, I get that. And, you know, I we have to carry the story part on. Of the book. Yeah. It is. But I can mm. utilize that in case something oh. goes awry. It's... I can essentially direct you guys back to where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And then I can just let you loose from there. Like, no, no, no. You're outside your playpen. Here, here's all your toys. <laughs> here's all the stuff you can climb and knock over. Play over here. There's None of this box. stuff is done yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's juice boxes in this campaign. Hold on. Yes, they're called healing yeah. potions. They're strawberry yeah. flavored. Ooh, is that what the poultices are made out of? <laughs> is that what they are? They're juice boxes made by Rivali? No. no. Good berries. Poultices are something else. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. We're under his control now. Yeah, but, 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 ironically, Would you like a good about... fairy, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, uh, get it away. It's good for you. Ironically, funny thing about my character, my race, is that she is a, an elf that normally typically follows the Raven Queen because red eyes. Uh, mm -hmm. What? <gasps> Here's the thing. She's a Shadarkai, which is the from the Shadowfell, and one of the people in one of the beings in Shadowfell is known as the Raven Queen. And also, isn't the Raven Queen responsible for her uh, being uh, for, her, for the Raven Queen uh, for the uh, Hexblade as well? Well, often it's linked because there are some. There's, I'm trying to remember, there's a powerful artifact that's linked to the Raven Queen that really synergizes well with the Hexblade. I think it's, well, it's an artifact, it's actually a magic item. No, you cannot have my sausage. <laughs> 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 and a part of my character's backstory is finding out where she originally from. I'm not going to lie to you, Kitty. Um... Can what you? I do in character, I'm just going to say this ahead of time. I apologize and please don't take it OOC. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> just I please. Know. I find it funny that you're doing that, though. So, but I mean, look, man, you appeared out of nowhere in our and, vicinity and, and swapped out for a companion. The Shadarkai actually look ashen in their own realm. They do look a little different out of the realm. So yeah, I still love that yeah. he's all left Valis on his own. <laughs> yeah, he's a maverick. <laughs> you know, he just he just comes back with the blood on him and usually there's progress in that blood, you know. He's like a cat. He comes back with corpses and drops them at your feet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the group's kitty cat. <laughs> uh, I'm okay with it. Look, man, I, I've been said I've been telling Zeth and Kitty, I'm like, you know, 
like and I'm not complaining about this, but like like in the last campaign, I was the like pretty much the front linesman. Having Valis with me <laughs> to like back me up on the front lines was amazing. So I don't question his methods. I just let him do. Now you just ha you have someone else helping you in the front. It's not that way you. Mm -hmm. Is it okay. reverse now? Is it? I have someone to help me in the front. <laughs> oh, oh, you're you, you are being canonized right now. <laughs> this yeah. is like her. This is like a trust exercise going on. Yeah. So here's the funny thing. Even if she's in the back, I could use one of my abil my uh, features to actually get to the character quicker without having to step. You know that amount of speed. Mm -hmm. And she also gains a nice, tasteful resistances to all damage for until the next uh, end of her next turn, which is awesome. End of her next turn, which is awesome. Yeah, I, I'm actually glad I chose the Shadar guy. Awesome. Having a free, having three uses of Misty Step, oh, uh, a better version of Misty Step, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually useful. Yeah. And I say better, better version because of her racial feature. And that she's also resistant to necrotic damage. So. Why are you telling me this? So, so what you're saying <laughs> is she's a little too convenient and for our own good, essentially. Got it. I'm going to write that down. I mean. I don't see what is happening over there. I just saw her for five no, seconds no, no. and she went with my party away. By the way. This is outside the character. Oh, oh no. I, I, yeah, I, I've been taking notes on how you've been fighting, by the way. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've, yeah. been, you've been doing good fighting. You've been doing good fighting, but it's not good what I'm seeing, essentially. You do realize uh, I'm not technically a up close fighter. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I mean. <laughs> That's not what I'm getting at. Uh, you will see Icy uh, Lee. Has anybody else been looking at some of the changes they've made in the new player's handbook? Yeah. I only heard of it. And all I saw is the uh, new spells and spell list. Nothing else uh -huh. on my side. Why? Well, the one, one, thing, one change I did see is I don't like what they did with the alert feet. Yeah. Yeah. Me and uh, like Shadow that. had that talk earlier when she was trying to train her character for that feat and got it on Mina. It she, I basically said, go ahead and pick the old one because the new one only applies in like combat and checks. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 that's why Mina had the old alert feat, and that yeah. it's that's better. Was the no. feat that I wanted to get for this character, I but. I will I say one thing they improved on is the ranger. Kind yeah. of. Oh, did they? Well, because the favorite enemy and now it's, and I did not like how they really made the ranger useless with the favorite enemy. Because yeah, they can track them better. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But only oh, in one. Eric can do the same thing, <laughs> but not just on just one creature creature type. Now instead of that, they get. They, they can cast Hunter's Mark so many times per long rest. Starting two, then it goes up, you know, every so few levels. That's not and bad. Then, yep. And they can cast it without using spell slots so many times per long rest based off of level. And, you know, it's like, well, that's actually an improvement when it comes to the favorite enemy. I mean, I still prefer the uh, I still prefer older styles you know that from yeah 3.0 3.5 and second edition not not uh, 2.5 that sucked <laughs> that was 2.5 the really fucked up the ranger's favorite enemy there you can choose one creature type orc goblin that was it mm hmm wasn't a Damn. wasn't well not creature type one specific creature that was yeah it. it's not a blanket it's one yeah. it's it's highly so, focused so you couldn't do giant you had to choose you know storm giant frost whatever damn it's like, oh. really that's what why nobody so... ever played fucking ranger <laughs> yeah 
you know, I still played Ranger, but we didn't use we didn't use 2.5 rules for a lot of things. Some things we were like, yeah. oh, this is kind of useful, but we're sticking with 2.0. Yeah. Okay. That sounds awesome. We will. I do not like how they push the Warlock's uh, page until level three. It's like, ah, what? The, 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 how do they get the spells? <laughs> Yeah, because okay. the warlock draws his spells from papers. Go whatever you want. Dallas uh, will pop up later. I'm certain he's more than likely asleep. No, he's yeah, actually he's streaming. streaming until <laughs> until the end session. Come into his stream and tell him to come here. One moment. He's streaming he? a horror game. Yep. He's streaming right now. <laughs> I see him. He's right there. <laughs> I'm trying to light on him. <laughs> I see him. <laughs> Uh oh, somebody's busted. <laughs> hey, stabby <stop it>, boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting here playing fucking Bendy. Right. If He's I preparing himself mentally. With... <laughs> if I can stop playing with a very beautiful woman, he can but stop streaming and join us. <laughs> You're right. Yes, I mean, oh, she's a very beautiful woman, too. So yep. does kind of sit and sing, kind of knows. Kind of knows her, too. Yeah, I was gonna say, wait, is she streaming right now or now? Um, she kinda ended after I had to leave because uh, we didn't have anybody to join her for games. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. You know what though, well, I agree with you though, she's a very beautiful woman. Why do I hear him twice? Because he's going through my Discord. Uh -huh. <laughs> Plus she's going through some... She's going through a rough patch right now. Uh, uh, Cardi is so yeah. I feel is like Valos. Oh shit, oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Valos is the chaotic well, character, so chaotic that he brings everything back into balance somehow. That is actually scary how well that works considering all the crap he's pulled. Yeah, yeah, for example, he just randomly jumped into water because, oh, water! And, and finds a secret. Last time is a bandit's hideout in Van Delva. Yup. Remember? Like, oh, cool. Then he caught the wizard. <laughs> no, you caught the wizard. I mean, okay. Yeah. Team effort. <laughs> yeah, more or less. He, he stopped the wizard from using an invisibility he, potion. All, f but all four of you were dealing with a mimic. That was so, fun. You know, yeah, you know what? He, he helped me out too. You know what? He put the chair on the table. I was slamming it through. So yeah, he did a lot. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Is That's that what I'm saying though, like, Oh yeah, no, there was yours, and then Colin helped me then too because he like set up a, cha a chair on the table, oh. and it just like I don't know, I don't know if it did anything, but yeah, yours was funny though. It was an accidental <laughs> fatality. Dead by fucking wrestling through a chair. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought you were a live cleric, man. What the hell? I am. Uh, I don't actually had any freaking iconic things. Uh... Wait a second. Uh, you, were, you were the scout before Darrett. Is Colin yeah. cheating okay, with me with another just, religious I person? Yeah, uh, scout before Darrett, yeah. Well, just think. There, the big thing about Darrett is nobody can ever fucking find him. No, ever, I, no. I am, I am so challenging that this session, this campaign, because I actually have like a plus six to perception. So I'm like, no, I'm gonna find you. I'm keeping an eye on you. He's gonna be a random messenger. I have a letter for uh, Mr. Darrett about some uh, alimony. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I must have the wrong people. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> like even the <laughs> gods themselves. Don't know who is that. I'm also, I'm sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. Even even Strahd probably has no clue, thinking there's only four people. Well, it's just a big mouse following him. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> big scaly mouse. There's weird. There's weirder things. Colin is <laughs> currently getting sacrificed. <laughs> That sounds like him. Yep. Uh, you know what? While we're waiting for Colin, we're going to. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Is 
you really good oh, to yeah. skate? No, yes, no. I was wondering when this was happening. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. In the parallel timeline. I have to stream. <laughs> oh my god, he's actually doing that. I wasn't joking. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Okay, if you want to see where we left off, uh, I opened the video to see more or less where our characters were. But in the sh end effect, uh, no. I was at the door and I was definitely going to close it. Okay, I'll assume by now that you have entered the room and most people have gone to sleep. I saw if we just woke up. Well, it's still morning time. It's right after they left, essentially. Oh. It's like five in the morning. <laughs> okay. Who the uh, hell is hot hot going? <laughs> let's well, let's see. find out. Uh... Uh, there was one thing, one idea, thought that I had in my mind in the downtime. Uh... What if the priest is lying the whole time and he is actually the vampire? Ravali, your passive insight is so high that you can easily tell if he's lying or not. <laughs> and he's not. Uh, I was going to sprinkle holy water on him to see. Yeah, insight I mean, would he be able to see if he you wants. You gave him some holy water. Yeah. yeah, but it's in a flask. He didn't touch it. Directly. I'm sure it's radiant energy would probably... Wait, so, really? Oh, okay. With your past perception, you can tell something is wrong once the priest returns to his room. You would. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> and, there we go. Right wrong. I want you to make me a perception check. <sighs> And how was your weak chat? <laughs> uh, okay. So... I guess I don't have to waste holy water now. Perception. There we go. Almost 19, are you kidding me? <laughs> Colin fucking raided me. <laughs> Hello Raiders! Hi, Raiders. Hello everyone! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How is everyone doing? Hi, Carl. <laughs> hey, Carl. Locked them to see. Uh, hi, Colin. <laughs> hey, Colin. Uh, oh, hi, he's here. Right. How are you doing? Hello. You have a six. You don't notice anything wrong as you hear knocking on the front door of the church. And I'm definitely sure that the priest is not the vampire. You saw the priest go to his room. Oh, that works? Is his room a holy closed no-no area for vampires? I mean, he Why? has holy symbols up above the beds. So that works. I, I, I don't know how the science in-game works. You tell me what I know. Be right back. I don't know. I'm getting more wine. Be right back. You know that uh, because of Shroud's influence, the gods don't have a whole lot of control here anymore. Which is why your mace that is essentially dedicated to the yes. god of mourning in this area Lavender. of Barovia is yes. lessened. Yes. So, you'd have to check. Okay. Just to be mega sure, uh, I would like... Just to be sure, <laughs> and because I have responsibility on me now. I would just uh, like to check on Donovich and sprinkle a little bit of holy water on him. You're going to have to make a stealth check with your flight armor on there. I do, do I really have to stealth? Can't I just come in and do it? You're literally coming in to throw water on him. Holy water. Still water, but yeah. Yes. Just to make sure. I mean, if you don't want to wake him up, you don't need that stealth check. <sighs> he's wearing plate armor. Yeah. Just on his face for for easier uh, <laughs> drying. Uh, 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 we're going with the holy water route. Okay. I, I oh. need to know for sure. <laughs> yes, we're going. We're going for the holy waterboarding route. But carefully, <laughs> oh no, carefully. Really? Make sure you tie him down first. All right. 
I just he is still awake. Okay, Donovich. Knock knock. Donovich. I need He's to check something. To open the door and look at you and go, yes, my brother. Could you put some holy water on yourself? He's going to look at you curiously and pull out the flask of holy water you gave him and dab some around his neck. And he's going to look at you going, thank you for reminding me, brother. Just because we are in the house of our god does not mean we are always safe. Actually, yeah, exactly. I wasn't sure if maybe you were not the vampire all <laughs> along. Uh, okay, well, good night then. I'll go answer the door that is knocking for some reason. Do you mean see anything out of place or strange right now happening? I've got a bad feeling and I don't notice anything. Because reasons. <laughs> Let me see here. He's going to walk out and check around. What is his step luck again? Bring that up. There it is. And... Colin, you are muted, by the way, if you are talking. <laughs> he hasn't and... said a word hey, yet since no one needs to know that I, I'm muted or not. Hello. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Leave okay. me alone. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He just rolled a fucking nat 20. Yes! <laughs> Intelligence works! <laughs> So, regardless of his modifier, he's going to stop as something in the windows catches his eye. And you're going to see his face become pale. It's his frightened. mother. And he is going to quietly back up. I knew it. And whisper to you as he points to the windows. And as he points, you see something peering in. Fish! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of We had a conversation. You'll be fine. You'll be I fine. know how strong they are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll be fine, my baby. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Actually, I am prepared after all. <laughs> so, after seeing this, Father Donovich is going to turn to you, look over at the door. Uh-huh. I closed it, by the and, way. And he's going to say, I believe I know why they're here. Brother, if you could uh, forgive me a small sin today, I believe I may save our lives. He's a I mean, I am prepared. All right. What do Keep you going. intend to do before doing it? Tell me. As you know, Strahd has attacked Irina yes. twice now. Yes, you should wake her up and put her into your room. What we are going to do is tell them that they are not here. We are going to lie to whatever it is is on the other side of that door. Yeah. And if they ask whose ever carriage it is, you will speak up and claim it. And yeah. that you have had no passengers. Yeah. And he's going to open the door to Ismark's room, see he's awake, and motion him over while making a shushing noise with his mouth. is Mark is going to peer at the both of you from his doorway and ask you, what's going on? Uh, how well can the vampire spawns see through the windows? Uh, I would hope not very well, brother. They, with all the damage they have become quite dirtied over which makes uh -huh. it hard to see outside, but also hard to see inside, so long as we're not in front of uh -huh. the So yeah, I was, I just wanted to know if uh, I can 
like motion is marks that I'm going to like eventually enter combat by uh, tapping my mace slightly <laughs> so that no one sees it except him you know what I mean while winking basically as and you maybe... mentioned the fact that there's vampire spawn at the windows his eyebrows are going to shoot up and he's going to utter a few curses under his breath that you can't hear. And he's going to check down the hall to where he sees the door knocking and looks towards the priest and you and goes, what are we going to do? They're here for Irina and I doubt they'll leave any of us alive if they know we're here. If But prepare for battle. You got yep. holy water, just in case. Yes, I, I do. we enter Donovich's room, it could be safe. Fair. I'm saying this... Uh, uh, silently. Slowly get by you and go to quietly warn Arena. So... Donovich is now going to go ahead and go to answer the door. Uh, are we going back to... at you, motioning you to come over. Are we first going to place Irina and Ismark into his room first? He's going to look at you, shake his head, and put a finger to his lips as if to shush you. Okay, okay as the knocking on the door is getting a little harsher who, now. Okay, who opens? Donovich is going to. So you are going to be behind the door. Okay, I have my opens. mace and shield ready just in case. Okay. And he is going to tear out. And I have spells ready just in case. Okay. He's going to look out and see Lord Strahd's Castellan himself, Rahadin. What's a Castellan? Essentially his main servant. Ah, shit. <laughs> we have so many mini bosses here. Good, good response. Good response. <laughs> good response. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Donovich is. My face is being tested and I'm standing steadfast with an iron will. <laughs> so you look like a suit of armor right now. <laughs> Donovich is going to recognize who it is and immediately pale. Sir Castellan. Uh, how may I help you this fine night? You can't see him, R Rivale. But you hear what you can only describe as a sophisticated and weedly voice echo from the door that you're hiding behind. Hello, Father Donovich. An empty house as usual, I see. Your sheep would rather stay in their own kennels than stay in a sturdier one, I see. Donovich has nothing to say to him, but Rahadan continues. I've been looking around for certain interests of my lord's favor, and I do believe one of them is here, if you would be so kind as to bring them out. After all, it's not every day you get a full carriage here or a fresh grave dug in the back. Ravali, I want you... Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Because Donovich is terrified right now. He knows who this man is. And he knows exactly who he represents. I need you to give me... Do, do, do. What? Give me a religion check in okay. an attempt to bolster Donovich. Come on. 
I have a carriage. Ah, oh, shit. A nine. Carriage. Carriage. Donovich is slightly bolstered by the fact that he's not alone, but he is most certainly not wanting to speak to this thing on the other side of the door. I... I'm sorry, Sir Castellan. I'm not entirely sure who or what you're speaking of. I've I've had a group of adventurers come by and drop their carriage off, and they traveled into the village. I haven't seen them since, however. The grave was apparently a dear friend of theirs they wished to have buried, who passed from the trip over. Jesus Christ, Donovich. <laughs> Father's a badass. Damn. He's essentially rolled two 20s in a fucking row. It's for presents. Let's fucking go. He's a man of the holy man. Let's go. He basically rolled a nat 20 for perception and then a nat 20 for fucking deception against Let's the Hell yeah. And he was so worried about lying. <laughs> well, so good at it. Rahadin has been uh, Strahd's Castellan for as long as he's been around. <laughs> and that's about three to four hundred years. Damn. He knows the politics. <laughs> he knows the politics. <laughs> Don't care for him. <laughs> <laughs> Rahadin uh, seemingly accepts this answer. Ravali, give me a perception check. Come on, don't fail me again today. <laughs> I, okay, it's almost a 15. Uh, 11. <laughs> well, at least you're getting all the bad ones, hopefully, out of the way, so. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. from your perception check, you can't gather anything from the noise that Rahadan is making, either his breathing or how he's shuffling about. Is Sonovich in danger? You don't know yet. I feel like he's in danger. Rahadin is going to heave a sigh from the other side of the door. Do you know where they went? I'm... I'm sorry, Sir Castle, and I... I do not know. I know they went to the first crossroad and then went deeper into the village, but I do not know where exactly. Jesus fuck. <laughs> I guess? Yes. I need you to give me a religion. <laughs> um, my God. <laughs> so Father? Wait, Father? Father? Father, thank you. A religion check. Like a like a rogue or a charlatan before he became a priest? Jesus. And then he should check, yes. You got the... Yep. You got the dodge the devil and then you got the... Are you kidding me again? Religious? <laughs> Why? <laughs> priest? Come on, so low. Why again? <laughs> what does it chance us? With your religion check, you hold your mace out in front of you in view of Donovich. And mm -hmm. while you... Don't really show a glow from your mace in order to hide yourself still. Donovich can see it out of the corner of his eye, and it reminds him that he is indeed a priest of the Morning Lord. Uh-huh. Lavender. Or Lavander? Lathander. Lafan yes, Lafander. My bad, sorry. So, he has passed this check and is not going to break down. Considering oh. he's facing an almost 500-year-old vampire that can easily disembowel him by just twitching an eye. Oh. He probably <laughs> has legendary moves or something. <laughs> mm hmm I was like, oh? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not going to fight if I don't have to, only if I really must. It cannot run away or something. Because I know <laughs> vampire sports <laughs> a little bit. Rivale, give me a perception check. 
God, please. You better stop playing right now. Why? You better stop playing right now. Why? Why? Oh, no. <laughs> the god is truly blocked. Why? <laughs> Why? Wow. A god is not hopping in there. I should have played more today than yesterday. <laughs> Why? It's all the, it's all the you, warning. You see Donovich's face pale a little more, and he's kind of shaking and twitching. But as you see this, you hear Rahadin seemingly talking with someone else, but you can't make out what they're saying. But you do hear him turn back to the father and seemingly chuckle. I believe I know of these adventurers you talk of. They are the master's newest toys. If you are going to aid them, do no more than you are supposed to, or you know the consequences. Otherwise, it won't just be your son that comes back from such a state. Give me another religion check. Provided. Okay, now I have an answer about the son. Come this on. Is the one. Hey, five this times is the one. under 50% on, rolls. Come, Come on. on. What are the chances? Come on. A 10. A 10. Okay, a 10. Yes. Right, here we go. Oh, mathematic. Okay. I love you sometimes. I got you. Oh, it would have Ravala, been just ridiculous you. otherwise. Okay. Ravala, <laughs> the um, fact yes. that you know that there are vampires about, and from the fact that Rahadin has admitted to being partially responsible for what's happened to the priest's son, mm -hmm. you remember a bit more about how vampirism works. It is not a disease, nor it is a true curse. It is more a corrupt resurrection, as the target has to be dead. Oh. I can count one and one together, okay. <laughs> I know what happened. <laughs> well, Rahadin <laughs> is then going to apparently tell some other folk to leave from what you can tell and he's going to give a parting shot off to the priest make sure the next time adventurers come by they do not stay longer than needed my lord does not enjoy having his games run astray is that understood yes sir castellan good and with that, you're going to hear a puff as if something just disappeared. And you hear the sound of bat reaching off into the night. Or at the very least, what you can guess is night, considering it's eternally dark. Holy shit. Good job. I was so abnormally <laughs> lucky <laughs> for my bad rolls. Like, oh my god! Were you lucky? The priest wasn't. Holy shit! I like you want to grab a lock from your homie, man. No, I was. Way. Yes. Let's put it this way: Donovich essentially had a break point. If he lost too many points on this scale, uh -huh. he would break down and give you and Irina up in some ways of hopefully getting a cure for his son. However, with the checks you did, uh -huh. you managed to keep him just barely from breaking. Oof. Good Oof. job. Oof. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> of course. With that, oh, Donovich is going to shut the door and slowly slide down the wall in an exhausting <laughs> old flex slump. Okay, no, I don't blame him because I would too. Right. I, you did, I, dude. I got to pee after that. Jesus, <laughs> you did that. Uh, right? <laughs> you did that. Basic. Right. Oh, yo, I'm holding. Too. I need to go. Right, I'm, I'm holding both thumbs up. I, yeah, I'm also going. BME. No shit, people. I was prepared to cast magic circle if necessary. And I, I don't know. In Schwepp Radahan inside it or something. You know what the best part about that is, Rivale? It wouldn't have worked, because, no. <laughs> because you didn't decide to move at all from your position. Yes. You were essentially safe that entire time. I had no reason to move at all. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> If you had tried to yeah. move at all, 
I would have had you make a stealth check because your armor would have clanked as you moved. Uh huh. <laughs> Good job, Ravon. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy <laughs> the, shit. The father is going to give you a shaky thumbs up back. Honestly. Uh-huh. And congrats on uh, Very good. not allowing Irina to be kidnapped by I'm Straws giving him Pastelin. a shoulder pet. Oh my god. You know what power gets? Hold, hey, six vampire spores. I was like, what the fuck? I am. I was. The <laughs> I, maximum I was actually expecting is maybe one vampire spawn followed by a few undeads to oh no. get Irina or something. <laughs> but oh not no. six no. of them no, no, that, with that, the right that hand was like the of Strat. That's Holy the secret shit. service following <laughs> a VIP. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I I had a second thought that I may or may not actually die now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, give Holy you a little shit. more uh, technical aspect to this. I need this to hallway that you and Donovich are in is a darkened hallway. And in the main area are intensely bright lights that Donovich has maintained. Uh-huh. And like he said, the windows are dusty and dirty from age and misuse, uh-huh. since obviously he's not going to be allowed to keep the church in good repair. If you had walked out into the main area, uh-huh. you would have been silhouetted by the lights. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh, look, a shiny person. Oh, blink, blink. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit, I should I, stay I, more I, often I, in the darkness. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I was waiting to see, like, if that went sideways, how you would either get out of that or fight them off. I was so curious how creative you oh my get. God. I am so happy that I was actually standing at the door when you all left, and I'm so happy that I had the idea overnight, basically, That's... from the downtime to try out and see if Donovich is not a vampire after all. But now, now we know everything, and I don't even have to test the sun for any possibilities, because now I know. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. That's like twice now that like you staying behind or splitting yeah. off actually like helped. <laughs> Holy shit. Rivali want- is the cleric of your group and as such <laughs> I will admit he has a bigger target for the sheer fact that he is capable of keeping you all in the fight. However, uh-huh. that does not mean he is useless on his own. No, uh-huh. no, I mean he's not. I mean, just saying. <laughs> I mean I've seen him tackle a mace head on. Yeah. And now fend oh. off how many vampire spawns and like the right hand man <laughs> people the reason the why president? i why i wear plate armor and why i upgraded my mace is that is to be a better melee uh competent in case Alrighty. of <laughs> like in case of spells don't work or in case i actually have to fight like a fighter holy shit that's why i have one little feat basically but with For that is more a team play thing yes for your uh very peaceful and quiet solution to this. Of course. Each person gets 400 XP. Jeez, thank you. <laughs> okay, can I, I want to add one more thing and I'll get back into the roleplay. Wow. This is why D&D is not just about like straight up combat. Uh-huh. That's why yeah, there's role playing and skills. That's why so I love long this game. as you can resolve a situation, yep. it is resolving a conflict. It does not yep. have to be combat. Yep. And that's what I'm saying is sometimes if you're not combat oriented, you can be very much like, you know, that oriented, you know, where it's like, yeah, 100 <laughs> XP. Yes. Yeah, dude, wow. If you weren't there, we would have come back to a dead church or an empty you would have church. would essentially come back to a very empty church. <laughs> yes. Priest's son would have been let loose on the town and Rivale would either be one unconscious in one of the rooms or if I rolled higher on the D hundred other than lower, he would have been taken to the castle. Yes. <laughs> that is also yes. a thing I, I was thinking about. What if the people return and I'm just kidnapped? Yep. Ah, ha, yep. Is, ha, I will, I will you train your blood. That is entirely a thing that can happen in this campaign. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I you almost became a vampire to fight you. Yep. And I just upgraded my mace. Imagine that. And I'm wearing plate <laughs> armor. Oh my god. Your, right. high, your high intelligence helped you. Uh, Anywho, we yes. are going to I would swap like... back yes. to the expeditionary party oh of the Death House and give you a moment to... Six vampire spots! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my god! god. Yeah, well, we're in here. Oh my god. Yeah, I was going to be cleaning out his plate mail. Uh-huh. <laughs> I right. mean, I was peeing earlier, so I should be fine. 
Uh, I wanna, I wanna uh, tell so, Irina and the other guy, his brother, her brother, uh, that we uh, evaded danger and are now safe here. Okay. So that they know. Oh. They know. And all, all right. should probably stick around the father's room now. I will Fair then point. afterwards tell the father stuff about his son. <laughs> the father knows all about there is about vampirism, and once the group gets back to you, I'll fill you in on the rest. Okay, and I would like to pray with him, with all of them, with all of us four together. I would pray in the father's room just to be sure. Okay, we will run that religion check once we get back. Yes. Holy shit. But Oh. The dude Garrett has disappeared. Nope. He, he oh is somewhat gosh. hiding. Nope. Not, uh, not just going out in the managed, open. <laughs> managed okay. to smack into the bedpost and curse oh. loudly, giving himself away. Oh, God damn it. No All shit. Right. Everybody else. There was so much they could have gone wrong. I, if only I <laughs> changed the room. Okay. It would have been not good. And if I, no. and if I moved, it would have also not been good. And the father, if he wouldn't have nailed two twenties, it would have been over too. Like, holy moly, sorry. I have to cope with that. Valus? Valus? Playing piano? Hold my it's beer! Your first, I, I know, <laughs> your first indie session, I know, man. It's intense when you survive something like that. Holy shit. I guess. All right. okay. Anywho. All right, let's Manos, go ahead and calm down yourself. a little bit. And we'll go ahead now with the rest of the four. Good luck, people. Nah. -uh. I am going to pray. The last thing we heard from Darren is Valis is uh, taking a nap. So I'm going to say, oh well, shit, I can't see Darren. So, <laughs> well, well, Alice, all you hear from well, the Violet doctor did is woke up. <laughs> Alice is sleeping now <laughs> on the stairs. Where? Not are you even hearing? Oh my god. Baroket, are you muted on stream? Am I? I don't know. Are you? I'm asking beforehand. I now. am not. No. Okay, three times the charm. Oh. Okay, continue, people. <laughs> it's your time to shine. <laughs> oh my Say, god. Are you all going that way then? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, I'm like, I'm over here like, tell you, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. As you Thank all you. come down, you see Valis is still snoozing away. I'm not snoozing. I'm just playing with fire. Thank you. <laughs> Bouncing a fireball from one hand to the other. <laughs> yeah, pretty know. much. Which one is scarier? <laughs> oh, pretty fire. <laughs> So, you nice. ready to go, buddy? You ready to keep going? <laughs> <laughs> we I probably have... I'm going... I'm, I might accidentally throw uh, my fireball at Kiki. Just for scaring. <laughs> I will take the acrobatics check to... <laughs> acrobatics. There you go. Acrobatics? All right, yeah, I'm going to flip out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. That's going to be a... 14, Who I met? believe. Nope. Uh, yes, 14. All right, Xanafia, how are you going to dodge it? <laughs> I'm going to use a feature. <laughs> <laughs> Run. Uh, I'm going to get back. Wow. Uh, to, let's see. Why don't I roll so high? How far is this right here? Essentially, this is two separate sections. No. Ah, okay. Change the sound. I just. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Also, because That's it was different my last time. Just but gone. Even if it did hit, it resisted. <laughs> Four sixty-five right. for a big Mac menu. Not to mention, don't I have? Uh... <laughs> Advantage against throws. Yep. Is it a deck saving throw? <laughs> yep. this is, yeah. And I might find enough a wave. You would be, yeah. Okay. Icky dodges. Xenophia <laughs> uh, teleports out of the way to get out of the way. There it's like, nope. 
<laughs> Xenopy's like, shit. Yeah. Congratulations, none of you get hit by this errant firebolt. Kiki just kind of like, even though like she almost got hurt there, she kind of just looks at Faust and like gives him a nod of approval. Like, all right, you're ready to go. Let's do it. <laughs> there will simply just do a lizard hiss. Uh, out of the darkness, you all hear a hissing sound. And it's I'm going to be fire. like, bye, Dad. <laughs> and MFB is just going to cross her arms in disapproval. Uh, you don't see him, you just quick, hear him. It was a quick reaction. My bad, D. Uh, you are again you the leader of the group since you're in the front. Uh, wow, well, okay. <laughs> Unless you want me to go, I, I can go. There's no gap. I don't think that we have gap. Well, you, you, you all are probably small enough. You can get around each other. Yeah, I can. No, I'm five. Here. I'm like yeah. five something. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'm Derek, five, five nine. <laughs> I'm nine. I can just stand between your legs. <laughs> oh, okay. Six, uh, eight right and behind him. Wide shoulder. Oh, Dallas. Take a look around the room before you enter. Okay. As you all enter this room. The ghostly chanting you've been hearing from down in this dungeon fills the room. As you enter, you can actually discern a dozen or so voices saying over and over, he is the ancient, he is the land. Is this is probably a no go, but is there any way it'll just be like to the voices? Like, is it just if it's just chanting, I get it. But it's like, who, who, are, who do you all speak of? There's no answer. They just continue to chant. Really, 30 voices and not one of you have an answer? <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta be kidding me. Like customer support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bala, as you enter yes. the room, you're going to see a bunch of alcoves with items stored in them. Alice, the last time somebody grabbed an item, they got ambushed. Very careful. That's that's exactly <laughs> why I said. Uh, well, that's exactly why I don't want to. <laughs> Good idea. I'm just warning you from what I've seen. <laughs> Did you see the sweat pointing down on my face? I'm gonna slowly look behind behind me to kick him as much as the sweat rolling down on my face. Good <laughs> reaction. <laughs> <laughs> look out for a giant stone ball. Uh, okay. Is, is there? Oh, go ahead. All right. Can I throw something in there just in case it's like not a trap or anything? Sure. Go ahead and toss something if you like. All right. Um, what do I use this throw? Uh, let's see what I have. <laughs> I see <in> my inventory. <laughs> You got your daggers. I have a lot of things I can throw. You know what? You're right. I do have the dagger that I can uh, throw it. Um, you can just bring it back. It. Yeah. It's just going to come back. Yeah. So I just go use an athletic check or a strength check? Well, if. Well, that's. What are we Are you targeting a specific spot? Uh, No, not really. Just throw it in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna toss, toss my engrave uh, dagger in front of me. All right, oh, nothing's gonna happen. Okay, I proceed. I hear someone's Discord pinging. Me too. I have no it's idea who that is. And I'm put up you step put up Yeah, I'm not that popular, you know. <laughs> uh before we go in, like as he's walking in, can I just throw a perception check out there? I hold the one is it good? Do. I'm like, do. <laughs> We're here to Ooh. talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Would you? Damn, they're actually got on Discord now with it. <laughs> Don't Isn't that one bad? Do do, and they have hot anime babes as their profile picture, so I want to accept their friend request. Do 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 do. The spam request. Hey, this is overlay. Yeah, you can check out. <laughs> Kiki, you do not notice anything strange Ach, about this room it? except for all of these relics that are stored in the alcoves. Would you like <laughs> me to give you the descriptions? Yeah, let's run down them. There is. 
a small metal mummified yellow hand with sharp claws on a loop of rope. Gross. A knife that looks like carved from human bone. A dagger with a rat skull set into the pommel. An eight inch diameter varnished orb that looks like it's made from an eye. An aspergillum carved from bone. An aspergillum is a holy implement to spread water. A folded cloak that looks like it's made from stitched together skin. Ew. What looks like a wand of some sort. A bag that even as you look at it, you can see that it is full of bat guano. A very large severed finger. Oh my God. A six inch tall wooden figure of a mummy with its arms crossed over its chest. An iron pendant adorned with a devil's face. The shrunken, shriveled head of a tiny man. And a small wooden coffer that looks like it contains a withered tongue. So I've watched enough Jujutsu Kaisen to know to eat the finger, so I'm going to. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> you died. <laughs> instantly. It's <laughs> it's really dead. Hey, you guys have a big problem on your hands now. <laughs> Oh, bag full of bat guano. That's good for Valus. Yeah, right. The hell? <laughs> I mean, so I, I kind of like run down everything I'm seeing, and I'm like, do we really want any of it? Uh, do, what does it nope. mean? I don't uh, want to know. As as a player here, I'll let you know the pri- the material component for the fireball spell is a bead of bat guano. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, bat crap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why I said Valus. Hey, look. Bat Back Bono. <laughs> if you got the oh. fireball spell, there you go. Who is this cutting? I mean, I got so fireball. <laughs> I think we're listening to, to him. So it's probably on Paris and Say, who is dinging me? That should be off. I mean, he is in streamer <laughs> mode, most what likely. Head? It's going to you. <laughs> the fuck? Well, someone's popular. Maybe he turned off streamer Someone mode. Popular, someone's got right. popular. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me. Okay, this is getting comical now. Unfortunately, it could be me. <laughs> Someone must be popular on YouTube. I'm actually not hearing anything on my side of Discord of somebody dinging me. Okay. That's because stream member. Back weird. Who? Oh. I just heard it. Who oh, is doing <laughs> that? Why so much? Because I'm fucking listening for it now, I hear it. Is that me? It's just... I got streamer mode on, so I shouldn't be getting any of that. Me too. It's not yeah, me. Yeah, I can see. I can hear that from the stream. It might yeah. be you, because I'm spamming your yeah. inbox. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I just went to my notifications and my sounds are off. Yeah, all, all the, um, I'm saying it's like, ah. Uh. <laughs> Call it, tell your girlfriends to be quiet now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> my what? Well, one girlfriend, I don't know. Tell, it is you. Tell Ellie to <laughs> go, uh, hey, Quiet. Now I get back. <laughs> it was a compliment, right. Colin. Come on. I'm about to. How much do I want to put? Can I roll for a bad luck on my valley? Can I say, Boston? <laughs> this won't affect this game. Only be IRL. <laughs> Please don't. I will. Colin. Mm. That was a compliment. Come on. <laughs> The moment I come back, I'm going after you. <laughs> all right, all You're right. You're all looking it around at this really fairly. Come on. Kiki, you can tell that the path you're looking at slopes down at a 20 degree angle into some murky water and ends at a rusty portless. The water itself looks to be about two feet deep. Huh. I have an oh, no. idea of what I want to do, but it's risky. Kiki doesn't know that Velos is going to be eventually jumping into it. Again. Well, that's kind of my idea. <laughs> but look, another sequence. I guess never mind. Uh, Derek doing what he's supposed to. 
<laughs> yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. We got Your services stop, are no longer right required. Bye bye. I mean, all in all, there there there's Tom Vallis. Vallis, as you uh, look oh. around. <laughs> Call it turn on your notifications, please. There are shackles in the back walls of the alcoves here. There's no one there, but the shackles are still fairly rusted, so they've been here a while. Hmm. I just gotta see if I can do a perception check after the description. Oh, you're good now. Cool. All right. I suppose there's like if there's any like bodies or like monsters or anything like that in there. Seventeen. There is nothing that you can see. Uh. So it's just so it's just like pebbles in a water, essentially. It's murky water. Mm. But as far as I, you can tell, there's nothing strange poking up or out. I think it'd be a good spot to try to get the lay of the land here. See if I can commune with anything. Yeah. Listen to the uh, uh, sorcerer is running ahead again. You, however, do finally find a skeleton that's still shackled to the wall here, Valis. What? Yeah, isn't that nice, guys? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be south of you, down. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this, this map's gonna screw with me, because down is west, up is east, left is north, right is south. Down? Wait, am I... <laughs> yeah, it is a sideways compass on the upper right. Hold yeah. on, I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, oh, okay. Just say left, right, Just up, and down. Ah! Uh... There, it's a human, nice? it, it looks like a human skeleton that's clad in a tattered black robe. Am I able to investigate this? You may. Okay. It would be over here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I will for our investigation, right? Go ahead. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Be, don't be awful to me. It is <laughs> awful to me. <laughs> he's, he's made of bones. He just made a bone. You must be my parasa. God damn it. <laughs> All you find on him is a single ring worth 25 uh -huh. gold pieces. But I don't know what this is, basically. For all you know, it's just a gold ring. Um. Okay. Well, I guess I will hold on to it, but I'm not putting it on. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> there are three of you here. Let's see. What is your passive perception? Sixteen. <laughs> 15. All right. I... Now, your passive investigation is 19, Derrett. Oh, investigation? 19, yeah. Oh, best. Oh, yeah, said, I thought you said perception. You said perception. I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Oh, my you notice something, you notice, uh, something strange about this wall right over here. All right. I'll look it over. Give me uh, a like a perception. Yeah. I will actually go ahead and investigate it. Basically, see if I can find what makes it strange. Alright. If there's like a trigger or a uh basically I'm going poke, prod, push, pull. Alright, make that uh check then. 
Eighteen. Ba-doop, ba-doop, ba-doop. Ba-doop. You notice that the bottom of this wall doesn't completely connect with the actual floor. Hmm. Now, is... give me one more uh-huh. perception check. Okay. Oh, 17. There we go. By following the edges of the gap from the bottom all the way up towards the sides, you realize it's a door and you're able to pull it open. Oh. Any traps? Was I able to see and notice if there were any traps on it? There are none. Okay. Well, I guess this is where... I just... Yeah, no, I just, just I'll it. pull it open. <laughs> Now it swings out. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, pull. Okay. I will pull it open, keeping myself behind it. That way, Xana can see what comes at her. <laughs> As I see the door open, I'm ready in my blade. Uh, no. And I can also see up to 120 feet. So, do I see a wall up there? You see straight ahead. Yep. Oh wow! <clears throat> I w- make a wisp. Do I see the water? You do. You can see what looks like a black reflective surface that you realize is very darkly colored water. Hi, I kitty. think I mean. I think I may know where that little puddle, a uh, little bit of water that you saw earlier, Kiki. Hmm. <laughs> Goes into there. Looks like it. I think. So we... I think my cat heard you, Peril. She just came bounding over. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, come here. Do we want to take a look? You probably have higher perception than I do. Dare it. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay. Enlarge this. You see, uh, if I can hit the right tracking tool and not block. And we're dead. Yep. It turned it off. This overcomes your souls. As soon as you enter the room, the chanting stops. There are smooth masonry walls all around this room. Featureless stone pillars support the ceiling, and a breach in the west wall leads to a dark cave heaped with refuse. Murky waters cover most of the flare floors and stairs leading up to dry stone ledges that hug the walls. In the middle of the room, motor stairs rise to find an octagonal dais that also rises above the water. Rusty chains with shackles dangle from the ceiling directly above a stone altar mounted on the dais. The altar itself is carved with hideous depictions of grasping ghouls and is stained with dry blood. Uh, nothing else? Nothing moving in the room? Give me... No, nope, you've already given me a perception check. That is all you see. I squeezed through. <laughs> <laughs> and I squeezed through. <laughs> What's that thing on the... the... Uh... Go ahead. The ledges themselves will be about three feet above the water, and the water is two feet deep. And the ceiling is 16 feet high from the bottom, so 11 feet above the dais and ledges. Oh, oh, wow. You can also see at the top of the room is the wooden wheel next to the portcullis that you saw earlier that more than likely controls it. Yeah, that's my next question. The wheel. Mm Mm-hmm. Actually, 5, 10. So that'd be a 15. That's 15 feet from where we're standing, that altar is. Yep. How hard would it be for me to jump to it? Not very. Just not uh, very? Make sure not to, just make sure not to land on a uh, step and trip. Yeah, I was going to say, try to land on the flat part. That's what I'd want to kind of do, is jump across. The right. fall. It'd probably be best to do this with a running jump. Yep. Excuse me, Valis. 
Ah, uh, yep, no problem. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> My lady. Here My lady. Sorry. Oh. Woo! Sure, only thing. Roll me acrobatics. <laughs> oh, baby. We got a 19. <laughs> Does it pass? <laughs> Peeking around the corner. I, I fly into the ceiling. That's how good it was. <laughs> Everybody sees you fly across towards the dais. Your legs kicking in the air like some kung fu movie as you just see in the other I want to land I, perfectly on the dais. It's I want to make it so awesome. It's a, your head it, back it's a butterfly kick across. <laughs> I still have my blade wielded. Wait, you basically, you however, as soon as, as soon as you land on top of the dais, the whispers and chanting rises once more. Except this time, you are not alone. Give me one sec. You jumped oh. across the water like in yeah. the beginning of Baldur's Gate with a track and it's a backhound. <laughs> this is the start of a disaster. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> Now, before oh, anybody gets jumpy, one, two, three, now, four, five, the six, chanting seven, rises eight, once nine, more ten. as 13 dark apparitions appear on the ledges overlooking the room. Each one <laughs> resembles a black robed figure holding a torch, but the torch's fire is black and seems to draw light into it. Where you expect to see faces are voids. Over and over they chant, One must die. One must die. One must die. Never mind, I'm going to hold <laughs> your beer, people. <laughs> uh, while they're doing that, is there anything on that altar? Mm. There is nothing on the altar, just stained with dried blood. I guess this would be, unless anybody else wants to do anything, because I've already taken some actions. Um, I'm they want to, action. but, um,. It might affect everyone, just so you know. <laughs> Is it like, do I want to be on the other side of this altar before you do it? or no, You might want to come back no, over here. No, I mean, you do have uh, what they're asking for. Uh, me? Oh, huh? I'm going to go after you, so if you Wait, dare. me or Kiki? <laughs> no, so not me. my way. <laughs> I'm going to do something fucked up then. I'm going to actually try to commune with you these know. guys. If nobody's else doing anything. Give me an insight check. It's a... That's going to be over 20. 24. Ooh. As you listen to them looking around the room and realizing where you are, you realize that you must sacrifice a creature on the altar or more than likely face the cult's wrath. <sighs> to count as a sacrifice, a creature must die on the altar, and apparently they don't care what kind of creature is sacrificed, and from the way they're staring at all of you, you can tell they won't be fooled by base illusions. I had an idea, but for that I needed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's he gonna do? Hmm. If I swear to God, if you take my car, eh? no, <laughs> don't think about it. <laughs> don't I would think like to speak about with them. Too. My car. Eh? If I'm commune with them. I want to speak with them. And I say, they're simply my... saying one must die over and over. I could bring you a greater prey. If I know your mission now, something worth 10 deaths, if you allow me to find it, or my name be sullied and cursed. They pay you no heed and simply say, one must die. <clears throat> but maybe not today, who knows? One must die. <laughs> Blackbang! One must <laughs> die! Blackbang! One! Grieffall out! <laughs> One oh, must die for these uh, no prizes. We should really use Yell's 
preparations. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, we gotta douse ourselves, or what do we do? <laughs> well, if I try and do anything, all I'll do is just end up uh, hitting I mean, they have... with it. Okay. Hey, just put them in the water, and I'll put a thunder wave in there. Yeah. Uh, you really want to try and touch a shadow? Um, can you hold my rat real quick? <laughs> Valus. You want to you want to crush the lizard with a rat. Valus, as you go up towards the shadow, your fingers, even with its magic inside your hands, pass completely through it. You feel as if these uh, shadows can't be harmed, turned, or dispelled, and their chanting is still continuing. One must die. One must die. One must die. Do I know about those scrolls that you guys found about the bogus rituals? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm just asking, do I know about those? Would you have retcon that to me? Or not retcon, but <laughs> <laughs> would you have exposition that to me? Uh, That'd be up to uh, your party members. That's, you know, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> I wonder where the monster is. Valus was the one that took them all. Yeah. That, I did, did that, yeah. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, I did throw it to you, but you, you, you're, I, I did throw it to you. Yeah, oh, I throw it to you. Before I forget, this door has shut. Oh, God, yeah. I <laughs> had an idea, but now it's closed. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me, Derek. <laughs> There's another way up. If I was well, there, I would have melted off. How about that one on the west side? Is that still is that still an opening there? That is more a pile of trash than anything. I'm sorry, did I say what? Uh, I mean east side. East. Sorry, <laughs> man, east. My bad. The port portcullis would have to be open with that uh, wheel. Gotcha. So it's closed because the okay. Mm-hmm. So look back at him, truck. Who wants to die? You know what? Fuck it. Why not me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it'd be that easy. I, I was not kidding. <laughs> Can you? He, he, you wanna you wanna hold Kali? I'm like yeah. holding holding Kali yeah, for yeah. Kiki. Hold hold on right there. Let me come get him really quick. <laughs> Gonna do another jump back over with a running start. Okay. Ooh, rolling it. Gonna be over twenty. Uh, twenty six. <laughs> like a quick math. Yep. Yep. Yes. That would be amazing Landed. if David manages to hey, open the portcullis while invisible. Hey, I want you to wait right here, okay? Oh, However, shit, nope. as you leap from the dais, you hear a shaking take over the room. And apparently the cultists are angry that you left the dais without giving proper sacrifice. That's and it. their chanting yeah. has changed to... Lorgoth the Decayer, we awaken thee. As soon as they say that. Oh, oh go ahead. As the pile of refuse moves out of its hole. Uh, as, I see that that line, as I see that move, my tattoo begins to glow. <laughs> and activates. <What>? <laughs> <laughs> Give Can I go the initiative ahead? rolls. As, I, as we're doing this, essentially she has a huge ass elder's tattoo on her back with Day of the Dead Skulls just surrounding it. Her tattoo oh. lights up with the Day of the Dead Skulls and these like weaves of, sh of like ink just go to her fists, essentially, as she sees this <laughs> big monster incoming. Let me have my back. <laughs> and she's Quite ready. Oh, on, let, me have, no. like, let me have my rap back before anything happens. <laughs> He's gonna ride in the battle with me. <laughs> no. 
Oh, well, hold on. Let me get Kai. Okay. All right. Yep. Take care, Kai. Don't get a kill, please. I beg of you. <laughs> it's okay. I'll take good care of him. He can hide in my hair. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> and there's Kiki. There's Anafia. I need Valis Darrett. Oh. Give me a second. Whoopty. <laughs> <sighs> Chris demands that we all take a drink of water. Hello, Tristiana. God damn it. Tristiana, <laughs> you missed the beginning of stream. Aw. <laughs> you hydrate. Yeah. Damn it. I have to listen. Mm -hmm. I might go get a glass of water really quick while we're waiting and get more wine. Joke on you. I already got a bottle of water. <laughs> yep. All right. I have a bottle of cup. Ooh. Uh, a cup of water. Ballas, what is your dexterity? My dexterity, uh, that will be 14. You're gonna go first. Eight. Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. How many square? Five feet? For one square? Yeah, oh. each square is five foot, I believe. Yep. This is right there at the bottom. Okay. Um. Oh, the gun. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, that's <laughs> what, exactly what I need. No, you just got to worry about uh, their big old champion. Yeah. Look at me, you boy. <laughs> and they are gone. I will say this much: its head is scraping the ceiling. Two. Three, which is like what, fifteen? Mm -hmm. I must say, Valus in the end effect is very brave. <laughs> I'm having my I own fun. I should take notes. Excuse you. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, excuse Valus, you. I'm having my own fun. You want the water? Gross. Tristan, yeah. Man, the wine. <laughs> no. What you doing, Valus? Hi, Midnight hmm. Paprika. Hello. Oh my god. Tidal People. wave is what I'm gonna do. People, Midnight Paprika is in chat. The girl that never joined us after all. Say <laughs> hello to. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, how Hi. are you? What is it you're doing, Vela? Sorry. The tidal hey, wave, no. third <laughs> level. Bell. Oh shit. <laughs> what do they have to roll? Uh. This is deck. Uh, wait, hold on. Dexterity is saving throw. <clears throat> and for me to hit is deck 14. You know, you could have cast that from where you were standing. It's got a range of 120 feet. <laughs> so, and. And so... Alice wants to look it in the... I was going to say I, but I don't think it has one. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Alright, so it fails that. Okay, and I will roll. It's going to be prone. 18. All right. Nice. <laughs> and that still leaves it with over 100 some else. Mm hmm. Is that all? Hmm. Is that your turn? And I'm going to do Star Mad Cow's Dad as usual. <laughs> If I can, if it has an eye, I'm going to throw it there. If not, then I'll just throw it whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's no eye. It's just a shambling mass of refuse and plant life. All right. 
Right on the face. You said you weren't going to roll 20s. Yeah. It's <laughs> called bullshit. But yeah, that hits. I don't care if it's a dad or a dirty 20. <laughs> That's a, it was a 15. It was a 15, not a nah, not 20. Nah. Nope. You just said a 20. Hey. You didn't say I, that. All right, roll your damage. That's right, I just said it. Pull up. <laughs> yeah. Welcome okay, to hell, third. bitch. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, it is now Lorgoth to the Kayer's turn. That's awkward. Kill me, kill he's me, He's gonna kill get up me. with 10 feet of movement left. And he's going to make a multi-attack against you. A cow. There's one. <laughs> oh lord, here we go. I'm, I have a feeling I might have to go down again, right? <laughs> well, one misses, and one's a net 20. <laughs> Oh well, my God. Then. <laughs> Wait, God oh, damn. It, that means Wait. that one would have been a crit, right? Yep. Okay, how much damage hold am on. I taking? Just hold so on. Can, so what would you like to do, Xenophia? I would like huh? to use... Is he close enough for me to use Guardian Emblem? Yep, you're like five, to, five feet away from him. I use Guardian Emblem to make that crit into neutral, into normal. All right. <laughs> you are going to take nine damage then, Ballas. And... Mom, you are engulfed. <gasps> ah, perfect. Oh. Wonderful. You are blind, restrained, and unable to breathe. That's fine. Hope All it's right. enough. Make it <laughs> It's fine. What the way can I happen? <laughs> I'm coming Ow. in, buddy. <laughs> I think you gave me Kari. <laughs> All right. That <laughs> is five feet of its turn. Ooh. Wait, it's that's it. What? Wait, I have a quest. Ah, wait, never mind. I don't think I can. Never mind. Well, I don't know. Can I? Because, because yeah, the hell if we view since it at me. Yes. Quest? Yes, you may. Okay. Cool. <laughs> it's a de deck fourteen. So that's thirty saving throw. It succeeds. Uh, understand. <laughs> anyway, there goes my second level. I have one more level. So, how much damage 17. does it take on a succeed? Uh, I roll my damage. Uh, that is. You should have worn a spiked armor, Colin. <laughs> you so half a 17. So, so, eight. We'll go with eight. Yeah. All right. Yeah, go with that. And isn't it? Uh, is it on fire? Because he has those earrings. But do you still have your earrings? Yeah, I do. So. And another D4 of fire damage. Go ahead, roll that. And it's burning. Mm -hmm. One D4. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> <laughs> now it's on fire. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> That okay. that here one d four or two d four? One d four. Okay, understood. I mean, technically, Valis is gonna be burning too. That's fine. <laughs> oh, he's a tiefling. He can take it. He's yeah, resistant. Thank you. He's tiefling. Yeah, I'm a tiefling. <laughs> what, I'm, what are you saying? <laughs> All right, that's your thing then. And you are going to follow this thing as you're engulfed. And it is five reach. And. Doo -doo -doo. So, did he do the fire thingy? Yes. It is going to stop there. And that's going to be its turn. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Come closer. <laughs> It is now Derek's turn. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There are plenty of room. 
Does Derek That's have a knife? He always has a knife. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Does this creature look familiar to me? No. Okay, so it's not a natural creature? Oh no. <laughs> Alright. It may be made of natural materials, but is not a naturally made creature. Mm. I was just trying to decide if I, if I should try and use my dagger of venom on it. I'll just go for normal attacks. 18. That's a hit. Eighteen. Oh. Okay. Now for my bonus action. And then... Oh. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, 8 damage from the sword, 10 damage from sneak. And I will use my bonus action to do a withdraw back up to here. Okay. Is that your turn? Yep. How does the right. water not move under his legs? <laughs> well, it's only... It's not very deep water. It's only two yeah, feet. Yeah. <laughs> if he was like a gnome, maybe, but... Well, maybe if I was a fairy walking for some reason. Weird. <laughs> Is that a call out for something? <laughs> it is now Kiki's turn. Been waiting for this. Alrighty. Everything's for flavor, but just, well, no, I'm actually going to say, I'm going to come up to here. The flavor part is I'm bouncing off the wall to jump on top of him, and I'm just pounding my fists into him with my bolt strikes. Uh, I'm going to burn a key, and if he could, could he, if I hit one of these, he's going to have to make a constitution saving throw of 14. All right. If I hit. Ooh, first one's a miss, probably. 14. That was a miss. Next one going out. And I'm going to burn another key, too. Uh, it's going to be a 27. That's a hit. I'm burning a key to use Stunning Palm, and I'm burning a key to use Flurry of Blow. All right. So he has to make right. a 14 check. 13 con check, you said? 14. He passes. Fuck. All right. Floria blow time. <laughs> One go. Oh, sorry. I forgot to. I'll do my damage afterwards then. Again, natural 19. First one's going through. That's hit. And then I'm going to go ahead and blow another one to have him make that same con check. On a natural 18, which will be a hit. He rolled on that one, so he failed. Yes, he is stunned now. Until his, uh, let me read it, let me make sure. The target must succeed and is stunned until the end of my next turn. So he is stunned till my end of my next turn. All right. <laughs> so my first one, I'm going to throw damage. So what I'm going to do, because I do get an additional uh, 1d6 per hit because of my tattoo, I'm going to do all my natural damage first, then I'll do the 1d6 afterwards, okay? All right. Awesome. You just go ahead, roll it, and add her up for me. All right, let me see. 1d8. I'm just going to do them normally, and I will keep track of this. Eight. Plus one more. That looks like 
looks better. Nine. Then I think four. Let me just double check the tattoo. I think it's just one d6s. One d6 force damage on a hit. Okay. So one d6. I'm gonna do three d6 since I landed three times. Gotcha. Wee. Ooh, not bad. Fifteen. So let me add that up. Fifteen. Thirty-eight. Plus nine. Plus six. Plus eight. Yep, thirty-eight. All right. And he is also stunned, so every attack made on him is advantage, and he fails all deck saves throws. Gotcha. Wow. And he can't. Uh, he cannot act either. I don't think. Let me double check. If that's the stun. I'm surprised that monster didn't barf on it on, on such heavy stummy hits. Can't tummy move hits. and can't speak. Uh, automatically fails strength and dex. Attack rolls are an advantage. He's also incapacitated. He cannot take actions either, so he is a blubber uh, in the water. Right all right, now. is that your turn? Uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I'm good here. I'm going right. to beat his ass next round. Santa Fia, it is your turn. I'm going to strike at him. All right. With my uh, long sword. Alrighty. That's a 16. That's a hit. All right, I would, uh, that is 10 damage. And, uh, mm, actually, I should have done that. Anything else? Ah, uh, well, I kind of sp spooked this up a bit, but oh well. I forgot my one at one my bonus action I could have done, but oh well. I'll wait until the next turn to use it. Because I can't use it now. So yeah, that's it. That's it for me. All right. Back to the top of the order. Ballast, it is your turn. Um, let's see, what can I do? Uh... You are blinded, restrained, and unable to breathe. He does fail well, all of his... Uh, I could... Too. I could do Dragon Breath because it's basically touch. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Let's say, what okay. is the actual components of that? One moment. Mm hmm. What spell are you thinking of using? Hmm. What spell are you thinking of using? Uh, Dragon Breath, uh, setting level. Or Dragon Breeze, or Dragon Breath. <laughs> you would be unable to. Damn it. <laughs> you are blind. Unable to breathe and restrain, which means vocal, somatic, and material components are not available. Mm. Is that an unholy beast? <laughs> I mean, I was thinking of Thunderwave, but I don't know about that either. <laughs> Is You're sitting duck inside him. Yep. Is that an uh, unholy beast? Most of your I... spells require a vocal component. You don't got no mm. ears. Who is trying to break out? Is it a unholy beast? Just an angry plant. God, if this Domino was here, really he would just use Huey. Oh, that's a plant? Yeah, yeah it's a plant. I, saw I told it's... you it's made of natural items and objects. I saw hmm. bodies and stuff. Well, I can't really do nothing, so to be honest, I can't do nothing. Uh. So I suppose so holy water doesn't work. Yeah, I was my. You have what? an action. You can. You do have an action. 
I have an action. You can try your athletics against it. You had to have a oh, bonus yeah, action. I, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I can try to get out. It's paralyzed. Out? You can. Okay. So I'm going for athletics. athletics. Yep. Okay. And he does have an advantage, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope. I cannot get out. <laughs> it's a two. <laughs> You got it's a two. Roll another mm. one. You have advantage. Not for this. He's restrained. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. So he's stuck in there, and that's his turn. So now it's uh, Lorgoth's turn, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me, uh, Ballas. I thought it can't do anything. Oh, this is a natural effect of him being engulfed. Oh, he's suffocating. He can't breathe. I mean, it yep. was just six seconds. I can't breathe. God damn it! It, rolled, it was on nineteen, and it decided to roll on three. God damn it! <laughs> what an asshole! I'm like, what an <laughs> asshole died. <laughs> you take ten damage. Oof. Do I uh, have advantage? You say they're both restrained slash so, stunned. They both. I can't. I can't do <laughs> okay. my adventures. <laughs> He literally can't do anything back. He's just stuck. Yeah, I, the only way for me to is just crawl, try to get out. That's it. Yep. So that's Save 10 damage to Valis. And it is stunned until the end of Kiki's turn. So that's going to be its turn. Wait, it's can he use take... his bonus action? Uh, I don't think there's anything he can use his bonus action for. I mean, what no, about his knife? I don't think can so. Can he poke with the bonus action? No. He's oh, no. Ah, no, okay. I'm restrained. Totally not. I will, okay. however, ask you for your 1d4 or fire roll for him being on fire. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I was <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I am going to laugh so hard. This is actually, the, like, not this one, but at some point, if it's, like, the 1d4 that kills him. <laughs> like, he has, like, one hit point. And he just burns. <laughs> That's the four. <laughs> Freedom, uh, Mary, and Kira. That no, will be everything Sorry. for that. It is now Derek's turn. Sorry, I'm now, free. I will actually move up. I will use my action to activate my, dag my dagger of venom. And I'll use my bonus action to make an offhand attack with it. Oof. Can't move. It's stunned, so this is at advantage. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's a hit. And it needs to make a Constitution check. Fifteen. It has failed. Okay, so nice. nice. Oh, come on. Okay, so that is additional two d ten. Sorry, my so total tight. of thirty-four damage. Come on, All Daryl, right. let's bring it in, baby. <laughs> From a dagger. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and a bonus action. <laughs> It wasn't even your action. <laughs> All right. Is that your turn? Uh, yep, that was a... Uh... Okay, let's see. Yep, that was my turn. That way, there we go. Here. Anything else? No, that was all I could do. Okay. Kiki, it is your turn. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, so 
I'm going to do my first two attacks. Let's see how those go at advantage. First one going out. Uh, going to be a 22 or 23 for the first one. That's a hit. Second one's going to go out too. Figure we wrap all this up first. For those nat 20s, but no. Dirty 20, or 20, sorry, 21 for the next. So both go through. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and blow my last two key. The first one I'm going to spend on Flurry of Blow again. And the okay. last one I'm going to spend on, he would need to make a deck save, I believe, but he fails those automatically. So he would now be considered prone. All right. So I'm going to go ahead, roll my two Flurry of Blows at advantage. Oh, 15 is going to be one. Is that it? That's a hit. Sweet. Last one is going to be another 21. So I'm going to kind of do it the same way I did before. I'm going to do my first two normals, Flurry of Blows, then do my 46 at the end. All right. First one going out. I'm going to just keep track on my notepad here. Ten. Oh, beautiful rolls. Another ten. <laughs> Flurry of blows. Eleven. One more is going to be an eleven. Yeah, machine gun fist. <laughs> <laughs> and the seven, they're going to do my 46. Hopefully this goes good. Oh, that dice like went off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Plus a 14 to boot, so. Yeah, those together. 14. That's a lot of damage. Plus 11 plus 20. 52 damage. All right. Whew. And with that, 52. since he's prone, I am getting the fuck up. Oh, 5, no. 10, 15, 20, 25. I might just back off here. Fit that public. Yeah, you can dance around and shit. <laughs> uh, Colin is dying. <laughs> They speak the That's fine. And that's everything. It's just Tuesday for Colin. It's just a Tuesday for me. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you have, with that Paprika, you have no idea how many times he was down already. Down? Uh, and? I was uh, about to remind you of the brooch and such you have, but unfortunately, Misty Step only works if you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Are you like bonding with this thing yet? Congratulations! <laughs> it's a mother! <laughs> I have been no, born! Sorry. It is Anathea's turn. Alright. Oh, I'm going to use he, finally he is, what I should have done last he, time. I, he's no longer stunned, by the way, but he is prone. I use Hexblade's Curse. Alright. On the uh, thing. I have no idea what any of this is. one for a short rest. That's my action. You choose one creature you see. 30 feet for one minute or until target dies. I gain a plus three bonus to damage roll or a critical hit on 19 or 20 and regain a seven on if it dies. So I do strike an attack against him with. I played. It's a twenty-five. Alright. And lashing damage. And I actually forgot something. I do radiant damage with my blade. <laughs> Sorry. Got to do that. Uh, all right. So when. 
people. Is it against all targets? With no. that, that paprika says, uh, I was playing Wild Rose Gate 3 earlier and I got blinded right. so I couldn't miss That's the step it. where I wanted to. And that is how I learned this is dep depends on sides. Alright. Well. At least you weren't going to be devoured. The wow. Go ahead, Shadow. Oh, I, I just... No, I don't do radiant damage to it. Sorry. That was only to fiends and undead. Mm-hmm. So, that's it. All right. It, Back to the top of the order. It is Valis. Can I try to break okay. out again? Yeah, I'm going to try to get out. <laughs> Athletics. Go, 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 go. I'm trying. Fuck. <laughs> I got Jesus. a 10. You are still stuck. Uh, Is he still? But no, I don't think he is burning anymore. He is. Oh. One D four for my the bunny damage. Mhm. Mm and I believe that. Oh, I can do. It has. Oh, hey, would you look at that? <laughs> oh my! Oh, hey, would you look at that? It's four again. <laughs> Right. How would you like to is Damn. very spicy. <laughs> How would you like to kill it? Uh... Alright, so that's your turn. It's now Lorgoth's turn. Please bit me out. Make me another con save. Come on, Colin. You uh, yeah. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh uh. <laughs> Nope. Actually, I don't know. Actually, I don't think so. Mm, nope. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> you take eight damage. I'm barely alive. So. <laughs> Christ. I have two health damage left. Let's say, one of these days, uh, being the sorcerer that runs in front with the shitty armor is going to bite you. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that's yeah. what I literally did. Yeah, well, <laughs> in the form of a god. <laughs> All right. So Lorgoth is going to get up and look at Darren. As a reaction, 5, 10, 15. <laughs> Is it Try to look me. at Xenophia? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just glance over to the side and saw the lizard go, fuck that. Like that one lizard walking above the water, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like this one Jesus Christ lizard, or how it's called. Just water walking. It's going, away. To, uh, it's going to miss one attack on Xenophia, but the other one's in that 20, so. Again? Again. What's with your rolls today, Parokit? I mean, thank you for Donovan, but what's the It's hell? only been able to roll twice for attacks. I You're welcome. Use another use of Hydeum <laughs> Emblem. Dropping that to a nat, a regular. Um, it. What do I need to roll? You need to roll. Da 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 da. Nothing. Nothing? Oh. I just need to roll damage. All right. So you take 13 damage. All right, 13. All right. Holy moly. That's a lot of damage. OK. With that paprika, I, for example, only have maximum health points of 28. And it's going to move. Since it got up, it's half, so five, ten, and drag Valus with it. That's why I knocked it down. That gives Xenophia <laughs> the attack of opportunity. Yep. Okay, and I will take it. <laughs> We're rolling it. That is 18. That's a hit. 
Come on, baby. Come on, finish That's it. That's eight damage. Okay. Who's Discord? Discord is going off like a bomb, people. Yeah, why about Discord? I basically. <laughs> Because we'll go off topic on this and... All right. That's going to be its turn. It's now Derek's turn. Okay. Let's see here. I footstep in. I will swing at it with the dagger. 25. That's a hit. Needs to make a con save. Roll the uh, DC five. 15. Oh, okay. So. Uh, that's 26 total damage. All right. And I will use my bonus action to do with a withdraw. Okay. That's your turn? Yep. Kiki, it's your turn. Face the beast. Face the beast. 10, 15... 5, 10, 15. Eat the salad. We, ain't gonna f we are not fixing what ain't broke, but I'm only going to use my bonus action to essentially just do another unarmed attack. All right. First one going out. It's over 16. Yeah, 16. So first one hits. Second yep. one going out. No, it was almost a nat 20, you fucker. <laughs> Gotta miss, though. <laughs> I needed that, you mother. <laughs> that one's a miss, yeah. Yo, this one's gonna hit since it's a 12, dirty 20. So two attack rolls going out. Mm -hmm. Seven plus, or I'm sorry, 12 plus. Ooh, not bad. 11, it's going to be 23. I'm going to do my 2d6. <laughs> Plus 8, so that's 23. 31 damage. How much? 31 damage? Let me double check my math. 23... 31. Anyway. Yep. All right. Oof. Um. Hey, I'm here. I'm trapping it. It's focusing on me. That's your turn. Mm hmm. Xenophia, it is your turn. All right. I'm going to take a second and throw out. Eldritch Blast. No. Oh. Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, uh oh. Come I haven't on, heard that it. in a hot minute. I'm like, <laughs> it's an 18. Come on, finish this thing. You gotta take it down. The next <laughs> one is a 30 20. Oh. Keep oh. it on these rolls. Come on. Big damage. I'm gonna do. Give me that hand. One, the first one. <laughs> Next one's gonna be better. Come on. Four plus what? Four plus what? Seven. Eleven damage. Eleven. Oh, come on. Dead. <laughs> Dead. He's was that one. critical? No, that was not a natural. Okay, never mind. That was critical. So a total of eleven damage? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that your turn? Is no. <laughs> you gonna move in? I am. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this uh, is the one to try run away from me again. Yep, I'm moving in. 
I can up to yeah. Though he'll be saying he's too happy with the local lizard population. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't. Um, what is that? Oh no, that's just that. Uh, don't think I have anything else I could do. Can I think? Um, no, uh, that's it. That's all. That's all I could do. Alrighty. It is now Valis' turn. Come on, Valis, break out. I'm trying, man. <laughs> Kool Aid, you harness your inner Kool Aid, man. Let's do it. I still can't get out. <laughs> What's your roll? Eleven. You got out. Oh shit! I got out. Fine. As you struggle, you are spat out, fifteen feet this way. But <laughs> get the kill. <laughs> Take a that reaction. I fit you while you fly. Your bonus. You still have your bonus action. You still got bonus. And he's, is he still fit burning. Why did you fly? He is still burning. Yes. So, uh, obviously, my only bonus action is Carp Dazzle. So, I was throwing my Carp Dazzle. You should call it a spell. I cast Dagger. Whew. No. Okay. It's just a regular dagger. <laughs> Come on! Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> it was. Uh. It was. It was between nineteen and three, and it turned slightly to three. I'm like, you Ooh, fuck. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I, yeah, no, I got, I got gypped on a net twenty. Don't worry. <laughs> I know your pain. <laughs> <laughs> I said, had that happened to Again. me earlier, basically. Anyway, since it's still burning, uh, let me run my one to for four. How would you like <laughs> it to burn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do, do, do. Okay. What damage. Is that it for you? Yeah, I can't do nothing. Oh, well, technically I can, but... Alright, it is... <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. Could, could you still move? Okay. You can. Oh, can you move? Do you want to move? <laughs> put some distance <laughs> between you and the monster. <laughs> you just mobbed you like a fat man after a Big Mac for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to die. Good idea. Uh, good reaction. Good. Wait, <laughs> can I? Wait, while are we on the combat, am I able to like roll for like the food that healed me? You may. Oh, thank fucking God. All right, I'm eating. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm eating two of these. I'm eating two of these. Nice. <laughs> nice. Do you have any potions or food? Someone's, uh, someone's channeling his inner Skyrim right now. Oh, that's Fable. Oh, got all the cheese wheels. All right. right, there. All, right. Yeah. all right. While I'll you're doing that, and you're pounds. Yourself, <laughs> it's now going to be Lorgos' turn. And he's going to look at Kiki. Yeah, everybody does. Smack in the shit out of him. Oh, come on. It's only how much damage? <laughs> Almost 100 damage from him. That's not a lot. <laughs> it's chump change. <laughs> 17 is the AC. Yep. And that's a 19. For one hit. You're welcome, Valu. And that's going to be... 15 damage Oof. and you are grappled and no <laughs> <laughs> <Wee>! <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Kari go get help <laughs> throw Kari out there <laughs> It just squeaks away. <laughs> Traitor! <laughs> you, hear <laughs> you hear a face speaking of, Fuck this shit! 
<laughs> Not the fair. <laughs> Valus, if you could for some reason hear me, your rat's a dirty traitor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is Lorgoth's turn. It is now Derek's turn. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> she was wild after all. That's a dirty 20. It needs to make that a hits. con save. Wait, Plus she can't leave him. anyway. 15. It rolled a 19. Alright. And... 24. 24 damage. Total damage. Alrighty. Uh, and do a bonus, my bells action to withdraw. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Right about there. Alright. And it is now Kiki's turn. Give me an athletics check. Can <laughs> he give you an athletics check? Ten. Kiki. Oh, Kiki. No. You are still stuck. <laughs> Can I do a bonus action? I'm supposed to be You are bad. blind, restrained, and unable to breathe. That's fine. I don't I don't need to do any of those things to consider the consequences of my actions. Carlos, <laughs> you got spit out, yes? Yeah, why? That's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. Loose. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's a loogie. My brain immediately went to Hawk to uh, now I feel I do. Where's my, where's my oh, no. where's, <laughs> where's <fucking> whiskey? <laughs> okay. Hey, whiskey sounds good. I should go grab one. Uh since I can't really do anything, I'm gonna No, I'm gonna do the anime moment in here as my bonus action. Think of my Think master. Of Think of the crowd, my friends. Think of everybody. Okay. And how I need to empower myself to survive. Sweet next All session is a count story. Noise as you try. <laughs> Uh, oh shit! Did it? Did it come from me or the monster? <laughs> just out of nowhere, not from you or the monster. <laughs> In my head, just a loud. <laughs> well, shit. Oh, well, I did work. <laughs> okay, get me out of here. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you need me. That's it. I can't really do much else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it is now Xenophia's turn. I'm going to use my bonus action to activate Branding Smite. Okay. Are you a super cleric or something? <laughs> I'm a paladin. We uh, we can use actual attack weapons to I don't smite know. With. You're a cleric, so, you don't get smites. I'm not there. I get laser beams from the heavens. Hold on, if you're not there, why did you ask? <laughs> it, it's okay to ask Ocele to learn the game. <laughs> yes, all I get is plus of flames. <laughs> all right, I'm going to attack. I can attack roll with my long sword. And giant high five. I'm going to die in here. <laughs> please. Alice, please. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's it. You're going to have a breakdown in there. <laughs> <laughs> just, hear, just hear a bit of silence from when Kiki was eating too. <laughs> I'm surprised Kira didn't bite the monster that almost ate her. Alright. Anything Sorry. else you want to do, Shadow? That's it. I Sorry. can't do anything. All right, Bellis, it is back to you. Uh, is he still burning? He is still burning. Obliterate. Uh, I will my one D four uh, for that one then, uh, and then let me see what I can do. Uh... All right. Oh God, the log. Help me. <laughs> you can do everything if you believe in yourself. 
You know what? I don't want to hear it from you right now. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> huh? That's a lot of talk uh, for someone that's not fighting a god. I know. That's a lot of talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What you doing, uh, Dallas? I'm going to do Fireball. Um, <laughs> so I am rolling my Fireball. Okay. It's okay. I'm in one. God damn it. Oh, wait. Uh, I forgot I have a plus. <laughs> I the 18. That's a hit. Okay. I can't see the other one, so I don't know. That's a nine. Nine damage. All right. Uh... Does the plant wants to take extra damage from fire? What? Anything <laughs> else you want to do? Uh, how far can I walk up? Bye. <laughs> you can do your dagger. <laughs> I know. No, don't worry about Kiki. She'll figure this out. <laughs> Be right back. Just don't worry. Kali is safe. <laughs> Oh, no. Kiki is like, please protect yourself. Don't worry about me. <laughs> go it's on, fine. go on. Uh, what you gonna do, Valet? Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm throwing my cow dagger at it. So that's like twenty. Wow. Jesus Christ. Christ. What was this shit about you not rolling twenty? Why did he, you just gonna roll fifteens to get twenty. He didn't promise. He did keep his promise hey, earlier. Hey, 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 oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, it's a one here, okay? <laughs> it's a one, damn it. This is like the loophole he found in a contract and he's making a million off it. Alex, <laughs> how would you like to kill this thing? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it literally had one HP left. I would, I would throw it <laughs> right in the head and then I'm gonna tell it, you're the sacrifice today. <laughs> Yeah. Headshot. What? It's amazing. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's alive. This thing dies. Hey, There's your sacrifice. <laughs> yes, your sacrifice. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's wow. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. All Holy right. Shit. So that plant monster was worth about five kills. Because Ooh. I actually kind of had its uh, HP doubled to over 300. Yeah, that's why it took so long. Oh, uh, fucking, oh, uh, what? fucking 300? Doctor, I was like, God damn, it's like a long. Oh. Yeah, oh. Not even the vampire spawn has that Kiki, much. Kiki, you're alive, buddy! Uh, Kiki, like, sees... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was say, I probably could have saved some people some damage because... Uh... Since I clicked on my dagger of venom, it showed that the uh, plant monster would have been poisoned for one minute. The poison status. So this oh. is one of the tackles. Damn. Yep. Like so I said, I'm not going to help you guys remember your stuff. That's why I was checking my stunning palm. I was, like, I was making sure. I'm like, I got this, right? This is everything it does. <laughs> So Kiki sees this dagger go through and knows who plays with daggers, and she just tackles Valus for saving her. And is like kissing his cheek and thanking him in Elvish. Both of them in tiny in tummy juices covered. I'm gonna give him a pound of soda. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay, Kiki. Oh my god, it was awful in there. <laughs> now, now you understand how I feel and now oh well, technically I was kind of comfortable. We'll yeah, four, I was kind of comfortable. Everybody will get 400 XP. Two? Thank fucking god. Ooh. Holy! And there's the fucking mastermind with his nat 30 stealth again. Jesus oh my god. <laughs> with the nat 30? Exactly. 400 again, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 400, baby. Woo! That's like seven. Is that for the whole dungeon? With the HP right now? What's my HP at? <laughs> Is it like 7,640 HP? Yeah? 
Yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah. Seven thousand eight hundred three. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Woo. Now Colin, you actually got to get out of the house. Colin, we should be above seven thousand eight hundred and three. Are we there? Yep, seven thousand. Yeah. Yes. God, I can't calculate that. Yep. Uh, Parocat, was that okay. the experience for the whole uh, dungeon? Yeah, really so, that was just for the uh, boss. Did you change yours to that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, they wow. gotta get out now. So we're all out. Next objective. <laughs> yeah. Next objective, yeah, survive. Thank you. Yep. As you uh, kill Lorgoth the Destroyer, you hear a roar go through the entire building, both here and underground, as well as above ground where the house is. Seems it's time to leave. <gasps> da, 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 time to leave! Da, da, da. Time to leave! Is there no treasure here? Making sure. uh, I'm not curious enough. I am. Um, Check supply. Oh. I am looking for anything that's fall no, not when the house is falling. <laughs> and I'm checking it's, for everything. It's not falling down, it just shook and you heard a growl. Like something was very pissed off with you and then it stopped. Yeah, we're not we're Let's not gonna go. figure out what's going on. Go. I'm going I'm watching for anything as we're running out and out. I'm also <laughs> No boss treasure. Oh right. no. Okay. I will actually I will hand that out at the end of the session because I still need to finish the descriptions on those. Oh, I'm, I'm taking we, we can't like just grab something on the way out. I don't want to. I'm not going to. You may us. look around if you like. There's no taking or anything. Nope. Nope. And like you know earlier that the children haven't been buried. That's what I was going to do next because it's at the entrance here. <laughs> That's the main goal did, you grab the, did you grab the remains from the room? Nope, I'm gonna go up and get them. All right. Mm -hmm. Let go. Then, uh, Fia, you are gonna be at the top there. Don't forget the to mother. And the other skeleton in the dungeons. All right. And go the parents. Ahead, head. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the remains. One sec. Okay. I'm going to tell you now that the Death House is very angry that you didn't play its game and killed Lorgoth. All windows <laughs> are now bricked up. The outer walls are impervious to damage. All doors are gone, replaced by slashing scythe blades, and you must make me an acrobatics check to go through any doorway. What the fish? Any room that has a fireplace, oven, or stove, like the one you're in now, is filled with poisonous black smoke. So you'll need to give me the room is heavily obscured, and you'll need to give me constitution saving throws. However, all the interior walls are rotted and brittle. Essentially, any wall that faces towards the inside of the house has become rotted away and a little bit brittle. Are those stone walls? Essentially, if there's any wall that faces the outside area, it is indestructible. So, Shit. what you gonna do now? <laughs> I was joking earlier with next objective so <laughs> We're all leaving! I need to make a con save here. Yeah, it's gonna hold his breath. You may. But you'll still need to make a con save. No. <laughs> not inhaled. 22. Nope. You pass. I did not pass, but fuck it. <laughs> I take <laughs> at it. If I have to take damage, let me take the damage. <laughs> you passed. That 20. Okay, cool. Valus, Sanafia, and Darren have passed their con saves. Now, make me an acrobatic check, all three of you, since you're going through a doorway. And it's replaced by slashing scythe blades. Eleven. Da, da, da. Uh, that's a four. Nobody's let me fuck him <laughs> <laughs> just, just Kool Aid man's out. <laughs> I hope you all that was, you actually succeed. So you don't take any damage, but Garrett and Zenafia take fifteen. Fifteen. 
that is split between the two of you, so seven each. That's good. I'm going up. <laughs> wait, wait, we gotta go. We cost- gotta leave. We gotta leave. <laughs> Give me a constitution constitution saving throw and an acrobatics. Acrobatics, gotcha. Constitutions first. At a, eh, not bad. We got a 19. Oops, sorry. That was a save. And then an acrobatics. Watch me screw the pooch on this one. (laughs) (laughs) 13. Uh, Nope. You're going to take seven damage as well. Ow. Don't you crash <laughs> at all. Uh, okay. So. No. You're saying these these interior walls, they're brittle, right? Yep. Can I make a. Oh, go ahead. Can, uh, can I bust through it? Yep, make me an attack roll with whatever you want. Where's the window? Where's that the window? Can I break. Nope, all the windows are bricked up and impervious. God damn it, okay. So that wall has been destroyed. Uh, I have... And out of the wall comes a swarm of rats. Wow. You have one round before I call initiative. All of you. To use, uh... Essentially one action. Yep. All right. Oh my god, what a death trip. I'm putting fireball. That's 16 for one. That's a hit. And 17 for the other one. That's a hit. Rest is going to be nine. And the next one is going to be five. Total of 14 damage. All right. And that uh, one else. Uh, well, I need Kiki to move out of the way. <laughs> One sec, what are you doing, Shadow? That's it. Okay. Derek, what are you going to do? Uh, let's see. I'll take a swipe with the dagger since it's Wait still a active. 23. Is this whole building something That's like it. a game show for Strat? Um, they'll, they'll need to make the con roll, con save roll. Six damage. 15. The con? There it is. They fail. Uh, 11 from the poison, and they're poisoned. They are dead. Ace. That uh, red section of wall broken down. Paroquet, is this whole building something like a game show for Strat? You ever seen uh, the movie Monster House? Uh, I am not (laughs) sure which one you mean. Now, do we just want to take the kids' bodies with us and get them out of the house to bury them? Yeah, probably here's not Mm -hmm. a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I suggest to to give them a proper bear, so... So if we don't want to deal with the doors, we'll go through the walls. Yep. I'm going to but say, this wall right here. they do have oh. their own crypt perfectly set aside for them. Uh, I, that's why. I nope, mean, church. <laughs> okay. I mean, we could, but uh, this thing's pissed off. I don't want to take revenge on the kids. All right. I attack this wall. Got an attack roll. Ready and attack. <laughs> yep, ready with the rats that might pour out. That's a hit. <laughs> nine. That's nine damage. Uh, one round. Do what you can. I'm going to take. Oh. That's <laughs> going to take it. That's going to go first then. <laughs> I said I readied. I was going to say, fuck <laughs> these rats. Okay, I'm going to don't need to make the con save. All right. 15. I fail. You have stealth because I'm right, you have a sneak attack because I'm right by him. Okay. So 13 damage. Plus uh, five. 18. 18. All right. I'm up. Yep. 
going out for the first one is going to be that one. <laughs> Second one, we're going to ignore the first one. I'm only attacking with one. That hits. Oh, come here. Come here. Or, or 15. So that one hits. Bonus action with the, another attack, too. Twelve. How many hits? <laughs> uh, two of those hit. Sweet. Do I still have my tattoo enabled? It only goes for about. Let me double check it. Empower. You. Yep, one minute. So I'm pretty sure our minute's up. First damage going out. Gonna be a nine for the first one. It is dead. Yeah, buddy. And for funsies, the next one would have been. And I want the dice to finish rolling. Go. Okay. And secret doors <laughs> do not count as blade traps, so you're good on those. Okay. Oop. Someone's got me. Help. Sorry. 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 I grabbed my hand. Yes, I had a feeling. <laughs> Because I guess Xana just likes it in here. <laughs> so I'm going to need two con saves from everyone if you're heading down to the bottom floor because you pass by two fireplaces. So it's all that smoke. Okay. Two so con two, saves. Two constitution saving throws from both all of you. Ah, uh, that's five on one. 16. <laughs> I'll fight that. And 18 on the other one. I got a nine. And... and this is so Bella, Sanafia, Derek. That would be a 11. 15. Do we have advantage, Colin? So Valis, Xanafia, and Derek, you all take five damage from the okay. poison. Okay. I'm going to pop before we do anything else. I'm popping one of the poultresses, by the way. Yeah, I'm po <laughs> popping a uh, potion of healing. <laughs> one, That's my last potion. Oh, I'm actually going to do two. Sorry. <laughs> Just getting a weird tummy feeling. Sanafia doesn't have anything. No, you, know what? I, you know what? I probably should, too. <laughs> I mean, you got yeah. two more doors. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you may as well, if you got them, while we have a moment of reprieve, you may as well pop them. I'm actually going to do one more than two. Three, four, plus two. I have three, so I might as well use all of them. <laughs> I took just the trip. trip. Yep, that's all. I might need them. <laughs> plus two, that's five. Plus two. Twelve. For me. No, I just recovered the five hit points that can... Because it's a 2d4 plus 2. I just did it's custom roll. Custom roll 7. Okay. Good. Okay. Anyone need a. Uh, anyone need smokes? She's holding out some health policies. I need one or two. Throws two to Xana. So, what are those? 1d8? 1d8s, yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and Mate pop with sloth. them. <laughs> I'm going to pop both of them. Uh, the 2d8. <laughs> and that is 10. Okay. Thank God your life cleric actually knows how to do his job from time to time. That didn't have anything to do with my craft, by the way. Uh, and with my class, I mean, it was craftsmanship. So I'll need a dex, an acrobatic check from everybody going through this next door. But you're welcome. Twenty-two. Woo! Wow! You passed. Twenty. Not twenty. <laughs> you passed. Nice. Eighteen. Wow. Twenty-six. Pass. <laughs> As you all look ahead of you, you see Thorn and Rose holding the last door open for you. Yes. Oh, good kids. 
Their souls are waving you on to hurry out. Their souls are free. I I want to hug them. They get the intention that I love them, but I don't want to waste time. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you. As as you leave and finally leave the. Uh, you as you finally leave the patio of the house the house itself shudders and crumbles down while rose and thorn disappear from view the house itself has fallen down damn yeah i know i'm like damn <laughs> Any, All that's anything? left is smoking wreckage. Nothing in that wreckage. Nothing that sticks out or anything. It's just schmuck. You can see the remnants of the stairs that leads down into the dungeon. But other than that, you see nothing else. I'm Let's not get going the kids out here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going back down there. <laughs> Santa Fe bows her head in silent prayer. Oh. You know, the poultices are D8s, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Have you not forgotten something? Uh... There you all are. And our doubles up the road. Hey, what's Yeah, that's a double. Yeah, looking? what the good? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> but the death house has fallen with its dastardly cult that was bound to its rotting house carcass finally deprived and their so-called destroyer gone the death house is now inert Woo. set it on fire throw holy water on it <laughs> Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's just leave. <laughs> everyone, on completing the death house, everyone, including Rivale, will advance to the next level. Yes! What? Oh, we level up? Huh? How much? Whatever it is, up. whatever you got, plus, yep. <laughs> so, would that just be like the next level without the carried over experience? So, we'd start at base minimum? Nope, you start with your carried over experience. Sweet. Thank you. Holy so, shit. How much XP for that? So I will be right back. Okay, how do I, how do we like do this now? We're going to figure this out. Yeah, we'll get <laughs> levels. yeah, just we'll wait for him to come back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, I, so. I still can't believe I did that one damage. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe you killed. I, I I got that feeling it was gonna be you that was gonna kill it, but I was trying to figure out how. <laughs> I thought I thought the I thought it would have been the burning damage. That would have been the greatest. That's what I thought too. I don't think Santa has killed one thing at all. Congratulations on uh, defeating the Death House. Holy moly! Whew. So. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna just carry over. Let so me, it I'm was gonna test seven it out six hundred and eight. Yes. I think that's. Well, I was gonna ask that next. For me, I started at the flat rate. Should I have come in with what everybody else was? Because I just started at the flat rate. Yeah, no same with that. Even out with everyone else who's been here. Okay, so it was seven thousand eight hundred then before our level up. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just. Manage it. Do, 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 do. So we pretty much on level six. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to get level experience. So <laughs> that's what I'm. Because <laughs> uh, you said you we carry over whatever XP we are. And I'm trying to get how much over that plot. Essentially, rate. add however much it would take you get from uh, level five to level six. Okay. Yeah. To get so to level two thousand. Oh. Yep. So fourteen thousand minus seven thousand eight hundred. Okay. One moment. So six thousand two hundred should come out too. Mm hmm As your carryover experience. All right. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 
6,200. You're good. Same team. That's why we're here. <laughs> hey, I don't need you melting my laptop. I don't know what you're doing. There pressing. we go. <laughs> <Things are going laughs> I got it. Sorry. Uh, my God. <laughs> All right, the Six moment we, yeah, the moment I defeated it, I'm like, let's go. We're leaving. <laughs> so you literally had one HP after what you yeah. did. It, it, yeah. That, that was kind of wild for me. I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> it shouldn't be right. Hold on. I think I so, up. how much should we have now at level six? It would, well, because it'd be 800. I mean, 14, level 000? six is 14,000 XP, yes. Yep. Yeah. Then six plus seven. Wait, six thousand two hundred. Right? What? That almost puts us to level seven. Yeah, I think that's too much. That math's wrong. Uh, I mean, now it show us if we add seven thousand six hundred and eight. Hold up. It should. It was eight hundred. It was eight hundred for everybody this session. We got plus you all had mm -hmm. an extra. What was it when we came in? Yes. So it'd be 800. I was going to add it here. I just put myself at base 14,000. Just add 800. I just put myself at 14,000 too. Yeah. I'm going to say at least give yourself the 800 that you earned from this session. Yep. So that would put us at 14,800 then. Mm hmm. There's got to be a little, there's a little bit more to it, which I can figure out later. Cause you said you came in with 7,800. So that would have been 6,200. I mean, well, what you do is you take your current, the current uh, experience you have minus the minimum needed to be level five. And then you add that to the 1,400 you need for level six or 14,000, not 1,400. I mean, Wrong game. Uh, fourteen thousand uh, plus seven thousand six hundred and eight. We, we shouldn't have seven th over the seven thousand. No, three. that's way too much. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So what was it? Seven, it was seven thousand eight hundred. You guys came in with minus six thousand five hundred is the minimum. So it'd be thirteen hundred there plus eight hundred. No, because that'd be it'd be thirteen hundred then. Would be minimum for level five, minus totally what. All of you had before we did the level jump. Mm -hmm. Let me see if that makes sense. Sorry, I'm like drunk. I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Yeah, put thirteen hundred in because that, like, what if I'm following your formula, Z? That's what it should be, and I think you're correct. You just take what you had minus, yeah, and then it looks a little bit better. So you should be at uh, thirteen hundred carryover. Oh, fifteen three hundred. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, because that looks better and it looks about right. Mm. Which if we if we need to, I can look at it after the uh, the session and then yep. try to think it up. Because I don't think we're going to get another level in like 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> One eyed Willie for the win. Goonies never die, really. <laughs> I'm just I go back to my. I just go back to my childhood when I've been drinking. <laughs> it was good. Ah yes, good old one-eyed Willy. Really? Uh, Boy, did I did we, not get that uh, joke until twenty years know. later. Did we have seven thousand six hundred eight before? Yes, you were about seven thousand some XP before him. You need a total of 14,000 to get to the next level. With the differential, you should have, what was it, 1,300 after you level up? Yep, they're about to. Yeah, roughly. We should be at 15,300 total experience. Yep. 15,300? Okay. 15,300 is what you yep. should have. Yeah, your on. experience should say 15, 3,000 out of 23,000 need a for level 7. Okay. Yep. I get a free healing now. Woohoo! <laughs> now I can get all my like two skills. So, oh, you're so my brain. My, I, I'm like my brain just stop <laughs> everything. It's too many numbers. So all right, because... I'll ask you all for right now to give me a D100, and then I'll tell you what uh, loot you got from this. 
So go ahead, whatever you like. Ninety-one. Oh, oh my man. god! I hope Damn! I don't go <laughs> Damn. No. All right. I don't care what I roll. I love my new max hit point. <laughs> oh yeah, sixty-nine, so, baby. <laughs> again, we had earlier seven thousand six hundred eight XP. Yes, twenty-two. <laughs> I think, I think I have 46, right? Okay, one moment. I have a calculator out here. 100 minus Let's see. 7,600. We got 91. Vala's got 46. Kiki's at 22. 6,392. So there are Kiki needs Xanafia and Propale. <sighs> 100 cider. Oh. I know. Hold on. Okay, no, I have no idea how to calculate that. It's cool. Hello? If it says 15,300, you're good. Oh, 15,300? Yes, yes that's level what six. your current XP should be set to. Okay. Yep. And don't forget to actually level up your class that you want to. Dench Master, tell uh, us how much XP we got. 1,000. Just a sec here. Okay. You went straight to the next level with the differential you have. It should be 15,300. 15,300. Okay. okay. That should be what your total XP is. So okay. 15,300 is what I'll set it to for you. I already you did. <laughs> no, I was doing it for Ravales, his XP. Oh, okay. There I you know, did Ravale. it? Yes. Yeah, I like fixed mine because for some reason I was noticing I'm was almost 100 XP past you guys somehow. Yeah, I just that go happens. with that. Mm -hmm. I... Wow, Jesus, Revale, the fucking six level thing you get. What? 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 Where? What? What? Blessed healer, beginning 19, at six level. Six for mine. Be what? Beginning at six level, the healing spells you cast on others heal you as well. When you nice. cast a spell of first level or higher that restores hit points to a creature other than you, oh my you gain hit points equal to two plus the spell's level. Wait, what? Is this level healing special cast plus us? <gasps> nice. That's really good. That's not bad. Oh my god, what's my life domain? Yeah, uh, I can I can fix that <laughs> later after this. <laughs> so he's essentially immortal so long as he has fucking spells. Wow! Yeah, <laughs> That's pretty cool. Nice. Right. Okay. Roll uh, me I need to roll. D100, no? Yes. D100. Can I, while he's rolling, can I ask you a question, DM? Sure. While, because my roll is so low, can I get something that goes with my new cape of billow? You may. Like I've said before, I'm a fan of synergy, so <laughs> if you want to combine multiple magical items into a singular <laughs> item, you may. Please, please, please. please. Oh Nine. my god, please. Yeah, I, I want oh. something that goes with this cape. Because... 91, six, I, didn't say 96, this, I didn't say this before because nobody asked, but Rivali's carriage has a secondary purpose. Yes. Considering his god is the god of Sylvanas, of nature, yes. nature is fluid, as is magic. Yes. At Rivali's carriage, at the altar inside, you may synergize mm. magical items to combine them. Yes. Okay. Please give me something that does performance. Because <laughs> while I do love the fact of having magical items, a lot of them require attunement. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can only attune three things. Yeah. Which, mm. personally, I think is bullshit, considering every other RPG game lets you equip like 17 different fucking ones. Yeah. But, oh, right. It is for balance purposes. So... While you may gain something that essentially does the job of both, it will also be slightly weaker or may have certain deficits or positives, depending on the roles I do in the background. I got the 37 OD. Okay. <laughs> we are going to make this work. I so both of you got over 90. <laughs> so if any of you want to synergize magical items that you have in your inventory at all, just tell me what combos you want to do like say oh i have the gauntlets of ogre power and i wanted to combine it with the warcaster's ruby to essentially make my gauntlets something i can use for spell casting and to fight with nice we can do that second punch you'll probably lose something on the strength score 
but you might gain something on the intelligence and they'll become a focus. Wow. That will be entirely up to one, the stats I look at on the items, and two, how I think they should be combined considering your character and class. Okay. I'm going to wait and see what you come up with for me because I rolled pretty low. If it's not uh-huh. snazzy, this cape is going with something. No, one thing to note about the D100 roll for magic items, just because it's low doesn't mean it's bad. No, no, but I'm just saying, like, I'm like, I'm like just hoping because, like, this billow cape is so pathetic. I want to bring it around. I mean, I I mean, look, my second lowest score was the guardian item. Yep. I will say this here now. I put all of your guys' loot into four categories very low, low, High, very high. So essentially 1 to 25 range. Nice. I then Mm -hmm. take a look at the items and I will shuffle them around because I'll essentially act as your number as being, say, a poker chip placed on one of four sections. (laughs) I will then shuffle around your magical items to the point where even I don't know which one you'll get, make my rolls, and there you are. So it's completely random and fair. Okay. That means okay. technically uh, Kiki can get a super duper legendary item from this? Possibly, yes. Ah, so well, okay. Let's Just go means- gambling! I hope that's oh, enough, I hope that's enough, I hope that's enough, I hope that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Silvanus, I beg you, my face is strong and I have prevailed so far. My blessing was with my team and they have survived too, please. I'm the good boy. Wait, what? Okay. Huh? I'm assuming you're all heading back to the church to bury the kids now. Yep, okay, that's, yeah. my that's turn. Not on go. My turn now. Everybody, uh-huh. make sure you have a point of inspiration for saving the children from the death house and ensuring their spirits may peacefully rest outside of said death house. Everyone, everyone? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Does it mean Vados has two now? No, you only can carry a single one at a time. Oh. Okay. There's only one person in your party that can get more than one, and he knows exactly what to do with it if he does. What? <laughs> Who is that? Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't stop I, I asking questions. Now. I really have an idea now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, with that, let me see here. Because Ravali, you essentially got your inspiration for ensuring the church did not get attacked. Uh, so. While it may not have been a church of your god, your actions and help made sure that the priest did not give up those that were seeking shelter in his church. But As in most medieval times, oh. churches are places of sanctuary, safety, and so on. Uh-huh. You helped reinforce that. I can't even have a fake church in my area. Even if it wasn't your god's church. A church is still a church, and it is a holy place and shall be respected I as mean- such. Hell yeah. If not religion, there would have been also a secondary like reason why I probably should do something good. Yes. You know it, Power Kids. The other stone, <laughs> I haven't told them yet. But I will say that we're at a good stopping point as of right now, since I know a lot of you have some stuff to sort through. Oh. And this will be a fairly decent point to stop on, since you'll all be stopping off at the church, and I will be counting a in long front. rest. Go ahead and take that if you'd like. In front of the church. Right. Yes. Thank God, because I need that right now. <laughs> yes, you have to knock first. first. Woo! <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> and may we come in? <laughs> yeah. And may we Just come remember, in? Ravale, with your knowledge of vampirism you have now, Yes. You know that vampires must be admitted into a house. They m- do not like to cross flowing water. And they okay. suffer from sunlight, which is, however, non applicable in yeah. Barovia since the sun is always covered. Uh huh. So you want to break into homes, not be uh, ushered in. What? And with that, I throw ballast to the oh. church window. <laughs> well, that was a very eventful session. That, that was good. That was good, yeah. yeah. But also, like, what the hell? Three <laughs> of <laughs> us. The items that we did. <laughs> Three of us almost died. Yep. Well, yep. I was. I I had like two HP left. <laughs> you were very lucky that oh you broke three when you God. did. What about us? Otherwise, you were gonna get bombed. Holy Dude, I was, I was, I was I'm, pulling for you. I'm gonna be honest, the beginning was the most intense 
intensity I ever had in this game. Yeah. My butthole pucker for you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, I was just saying, don't think I forgot about you. There's a reason you're still there. Uh -huh, because <laughs> I said so. No, because they're looking for Irina. That too, but I mean, <laughs> I wasn't just going to leave some hello logic. But yeah, thank you, guys. But yeah. No, no thank you. <laughs> we get to come back to a, a full church now. Uh, you're yep. welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for popping in my, my chat to let me know to get in here. Because <laughs> I was really fucking pissed off at this one game. <laughs> hey, at least you got to take it out on the monster and murder it. Hell yeah. You got the uh, kill. God damn. You got the boss got... kill. Worth five, which puts you in the lead at seven, I believe. Wow. Has got nothing until. <laughs> Welcome to the world of being a tank, buddy. Yeah. yeah. A, let me tell you something. As somebody who's tanked in MMO since he was 11 years old, it is a thankless bitch of a job with no glory. <laughs> oh yeah, it is indeed. Believe me, I know. Oh, uh, I know, man. Whew. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'll, I will reminisce some other day about it. Out. Especially when you have DPS that complain when you tell them to back up, hold back. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like I got to hold back. I can only do so much, and then I can't over. I am over pulling. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> all right. I will let you all get some sleep as always. Thank okay. you. All for so, yeah, just DM us, Thank uh, you. Uh, uh, items. Yep. Awesome. I will okay. go ahead and do everybody. my sorting later today. Check if your I new do level not send it to you tonight, I will send it to you tomorrow. Sweet. Right. No rush. Okay. Thank you right, guys, for love today. You all. Have a good night. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. It was fun. Good it was awesome. Good night. Good night. Bye, everyone. Have a nice week. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in Midnight Paprika, uh, that was it. Holy damn. Like, Literally, if you have missed the beginning of screen, uh, of stream, uh, check in after I finished streaming. Check the VOD and uh, watch me at the church what events are unfolding there because holy damn. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. But hey, I made it. it I, seriously, no joke. It was... I, it could have gone bad, so bad, so easily. Oh my god, I'm... That, it, the thing is, if I... Me, I messed up so many rolls. Fortunately, it was apparently high enough. Except the first perception roll, it was not high enough. But I was smart enough to ask Donovan. And oh my god, if I wouldn't have, like... If I wouldn't have been so, like, paranoid about not knowing stuff, I wouldn't have thought about checking, surely, if Donovan was not maybe the vampire here and his son was actually, like, alive. But now we know that ah, his son is dead. And, uh... The being that is alive is now most definitely not his son but uh, a minion of spawn puppeteering as his son crying for help or stuff yeah yeah uh, but yeah Donovan a 220s and people say uh, there is no godly connection in this world in Borovia I mean Hey, come on. Hey, awesome. Just, hey. Yeah, if I would have only stepped into the light, we would have failed in some way. Uh, if I wouldn't have had the idea to, like, splash the uh, father with holy water, we would have failed, probably. If I would have just moved a little bit while behind the door we would have failed probably 
Und end the thing is, is the, one of the outcomes that Power Cut mentioned in the beginning uh, for me um, and basically the others. Uh, when the party would have returned, the church might wouldn't have been standing by now and uh, the people would have been abducted and eventually me too. Either I would have been unconscious, barely alive, or uh, I just would have maybe disappeared completely and maybe turned into a vampire or ended up being a prisoner. Like, holy damn. I love it. What the crazy to turn off events. I love it. And the thing is, I was so totally not like imagining like a super hyper worst case scenario where I was going to face six vampire spawns. Six! Uh, and including the right hand man of Strat. Like, most likely the, the boss before the boss, you know? The boss fight before the boss. Uh, oh my god. I, six vampire spawns. I, she must be of very, very great and unique interest. I mean, that he cares enough to send his right hand man to, like, find her, you know? Like, what is going on? Why is the question? You know? Wow. But yeah. Um, GGA. A, a level up. A, they made so much XP in that dungeon. In the death traps that we leveled up. Wait, did I level up? Level 6 it says level 5. Why? Wait, let me refresh my browser. Now I'm level 6. Now I have more hit points. I have now 33 hit points plus 8. Uh, no, I got plus 5. I was at 28 earlier. Now I have 33. Well, I'm going to check my new abilities. I have now blessed healer and I will uh, read that out again. Uh, blessed healer, 6th level. Beginning at 6th level, the healing spells you cast on others heal you as well. When you cast a spell of 1st level or higher, that restores hit points to a creature other than you. You regain hit points equal to 2 plus the spell's level. And I would, I think, plus the life domain effect where I get a disciple of life. Uh, also, starting at first level, your healing spells are more effective. Whenever you use a spell of first level or higher to restore hit points to a creature, the creature regains additional hit points equal to 2. Um, plus the spell's level. That would be for me... Well, the same. Not do I heal the others for more, but I'll also I should get a healed for that much. Oh, wait a second. When you cast a spell of first level or higher, it restores hit points to a creature other than you. You regain hit points equal to 2 plus the spell's level. That's the same what Disciple of Life means. But I think... I don't know. I actually will have to clarify that with Paroket. I either, It either means for me, because, because of Disciple of Life, that I get not just plus 2 plus the spell's level. That's maybe an effect for every cleric. Not depending on the simple of life. Uh, where was I going with it? Yeah, so either I get only uh, plus two plus the spells level, or I get plus two plus the spells level and plus the disciple of life uh, bonus. That would be technically uh, you regain hit points equal to. Four plus the spells level twice. So basically, two plus the spells level, but twice. So four plus, if it was second level, then maybe instead of two, I get four, you know? So, yeah, instead of four, I get eight. But I have to clarify that. Maybe let's do 
it now while I still have this idea. And um, yeah, thank you for being here. Have a nice uh, weekend. Have a nice day. And I'll see you next time. Either on TNT again or uh, Dungeon. No, wait, Dungeon. Haha. <laughs> uh, yeah, either TNT or uh, Monday. Like, with more Helldivers. But yeah, uh, goodbye, everyone. Also, wait, I think we have... I I think... Oh, Helldivers 2, I think we unlocked the space station building. Uh, stage. Yes! Okay. Goodbye, everyone, and... Have a nice day. I am Ilrevala, and that was the D&D se session with my friends and Parroquet as CTM. Bye!